Official episode. Sorry if you missed the Patreon. Not my fault. It's out of my control. What do you I mean? cannot help your stinginess. People who we did it, we released a Patreon before this. Oh, yeah. So if you missed it, I can't help the fact that you're stingy. Excuse me. Yeah, pardon me. Yeah. Prioritize. Pardon me. Sorry about that. Sorry. With us today, dude. Sit the fucking kid. What up, Sid? What's going on? Chilling, dude. So what you talking about right now? Nothing. I always thought it was uh like like uh, a pog. I always thought it was a pretty ass white girl. I didn't know it was fat. Like P H A T, and uh, I don't think you're wrong. What I'm gonna settle this right now. Stand for <laughs> pissed Americans with guns. Ooh, Respect. <laughs> yeah, that's better. <laughs> there we are. That's the best thing you can be. Yeah, send them in. Pissed oh. Americans with guns. Get <laughs> shit done, dude. Is that what pog porn's all about? They're just. I thought they were fat ass white girls, but they're really just fucking. Pissed Americans with guns. It's all it's about. <laughs> it's all I, it's about. Yeah, I should have uh, watched further in. Dude's probably like, I love your fucking, the fact that yeah, you exercise, she's like, exercise you, your constitutional she's like, did you just fucking come in me? <laughs> did you just come in me? And then shoots, <laughs> and he gets a gun, just fires it in the air. Like an Arab at a birthday party. Mm. <laughs> you ever see the Arabs get fired up? Uh-uh. Just at celebrations. Just oh, and they non-stop. start. Yeah, they start firing AKs off. Just straight in the air. Yeah, they party Ridiculous hard as fuck. Guns, like they do gold that. Guns. They do that in like movies. Something like so. I was watching that. Uh, I talked about it before that fucking uh, like the first people in at, after nine eleven. Mm-hmm. And they were like in a secret hideout. And when like a group of people showed up, like a, like reinforcements showed up, all the Arabs were fired up and started shooting <laughs> like, like, guns in the air. I was like, what are you doing, dude? You gotta stop, be quiet. Stop wasting all the yeah. Stop wasting the ammo. And now everyone in the, the fucking vicinity knows where we are. That's so, so chill, dude. They're like, well, how are we going to celebrate? How, how else are we going to greet other these other guys? That's fu- that's, dude, that's so funny. What a sick way to greet people. I love how like they're like in real life, like Call of Duty unlimited ammo skills. They're like, brr, 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 brr. <laughs> yeah, dude. I wonder if any of them are like, like, kind of half assing it. Like, you know, you're having a rough day. <laughs> you just let out and then, a couple. Like, people are coming in. You're like, all right, it's ceremonial. We're fucking <laughs> <laughs> shooting AK into the air. <laughs> Whatever. It's great. We got horses. Apparently, uh, Ukraine's president was the president on TV. Like, there was a show in Ukraine. That oh, was yeah, popular. yeah, yeah. I think they elected a comedian. I think he was like, that's a what comedian. it was. Yeah, he was a comedian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's pretty Damn. sick. Sick move. We should elect Louie. That would be pretty tight. Yeah. I'd vote for him. Just vote for him right now. <laughs> L- vote for Louis? Hell yeah. Fuck it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he's, he's a genius. Dude. Yeah. <laughs> He'd be yeah. great. Yeah, we need someone who's played the president before. They did a mashup of like him on TV <laughs> and him in real life, and they're like, he doesn't lose his way. It was just him being like funny, and like he, at yeah. the end of the thing, he clicks his heels. It's funny to see Ukraine's humor. The president jumping up and clicking his heels, and everyone's like... <laughs> they, they must have a weird sense of humor. Ukraine's been through well, the ringer. That's just like nineteen. That's just us, like sixty years ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Show someone in a proper setting, be like, bah, 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 bah. yeah, and it's yeah, like, yeah. oh my god, yeah. wow. They haven't gotten one liners yet. They have yeah. not. They're gonna get there. So disrespectful. Yeah. yeah, Ukraine's got some wild shit going. They got fascists, like pro Russians, well, communists. They got wild. Aren't shit. they like dominated by Russia now? Yeah, and like half the country wants to be Russian. Wants to be dominated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They are half the half Ukrainians are subs. Really, <laughs> yeah, they're real fucking hard power bottoms. It's also like nobody's getting stoked on like your like Ukrainian pride. You be besides Ukrainian fascists, yeah, the fascists in Ukraine are like, dude, we're the best. But it's fascist v fascist. No, That's it's good. it's fascist v like commies. Oh. Tale as old as time. Oh, yeah. Damn. Ukraine had a big thing. Like, in, well, if you lose to communists, aren't you like no longer allowed to be a fascist? Yeah, but then they would resist. There was resistance groups. Okay. So then, like... Uh, is that like, the whole point of it? Being like, yeah, but fascism is better and stronger. And if you lose to communism, you have to be like, fuck. Mm, no, one, no one's really ever accepted that. True. Ever. I don't know. I, I, no yeah, one's I, ever been like, you know what? Our culture lost. You guys are right. <laughs> like, ever. But I thought fascism in general was like, communism sucks so bad, we're better at war. Then you lose in war to communism. And it's like, god damn it. It's got to piss you off. Yeah, it'll tick you off. I'm a saying little. it's got to tick you. It's got to tick you a little bit. <laughs> it's got to get you yeah. ticked. When they, yeah, when they kill your entire fucking town, you're like, yeah. ah, damn it! <laughs> thought we were better than this. Firing off some guns. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I don't no know if I like family it. man. <laughs> yeah, I thought we were better at this kind of stuff. Nah, they, they, yeah, they. Ukraine had a bunch of that the whole time. 
All those countries did. All yeah, those but like, how shitty could Ukraine be fascist? They were in the in the fascism game. They like, were crushed. Okay, why? I thought fascism you have to like inherently spread out and start like dominating everyone around you. No, you can just be isolationist and fascist. Like we're the fucking yeah, best. Yeah, yeah. I mean, t- typically they try to expand. Yeah, but yeah, pretty tight. Yeah, there's fascist countries that just stick to themselves. It's a little teeny little country. I yeah. feel like I feel like it'd be a bad move. If I was a teeny little country, I'd be super chill. I'm like, no, yeah, I'm totally chill with everybody, dude. What's going on? Yeah, here? they do that. Don't do, please do don't that. fucking the crush teeny us. countries do that a lot. <laughs> please don't fucking crush us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then they get crushed. <laughs> yeah. Who was it in in uh, every country like in Europe that tries to be like, no, we're neutral. Like you can't go through here. We're neutral. You got to go around us. Yeah. And then the Germans would just go straight through it. And they're like, like, "What? <laughs> can't believe you guys didn't listen." <laughs> next time, though, don't come through yeah, here. Next, next time. don't do it the next time. Oh, they're doing it again. Yeah. It's anyway, fucked. what's up, bro? Fucked up, dude. I'm a. Uh, I'm stoked right now. So I, I had a. Uh, this happened a couple of days ago. I forgot all about this the other day. It's I had this new, well, it's pretty fucking new. It's a. It's my interaction grid. I started thinking about okay. like my grid of interaction. Don't be don't be afraid to say my new thing. I know, dude. I, you were I about know, to. Don't know, be afraid to say it. Dude. I know. I got it in my it's head. Your new thing. Someone made fun of me about saying my new thing all the time. Yeah, you say my new thing, and my thing is. Yeah, my whole thing is. This is my. This is one of my new things. I mean, I I do have a whole new thing that I'm still working on, even unveiling because I, I, it's bro, too complicated. Bro, you're just you're unveiling new things every week. That's true. That's what the whole the point of the cast <laughs> is to sit down and hear you say that. <laughs> what new thing are you doing? It's my interaction grid right now. So right, right now, I'm, I'm, I mean, I've been reconstructing my entire psyche for the last like year and a half. That's, just a, that's dangerous. Ground up, <laughs> very dangerous territory. By necessary, the way, though. You very, do it very necessary. Very necessary. Very, it's very uh, unsettling to just, just strip. I mean, Descartes did it, dude. It's, you know, it is what it is. Yeah, Same thing. You strip all your logical assumptions away. I did this once when I was like 23 and ended up with like a real nasty eye infection. So this is round. This is round. What? That's when I lived in my house of all like the strange. Oh, that's cats. when you were like, I'm just gonna let everything live in here. Yeah, I'm gonna oh. live in a. To- that's when I didn't believe in. I didn't believe in germ theory. Yeah. I shunned germ theory at 23. I shunned pretty much anything someone told me was real that I didn't directly experience. I was like, I can't trust any that's of this. Sick. You went like personally into the dark ages. Yeah. At, yeah. Like, 23. It was dude. pretty. It was pretty tight. You were just like, yeah, germs yeah. aren't real. Well, it was that. funny. I had this because I like hated everything back then. I was like, I remember I was in college. I was like. Business, I was in business school. I'm like, this sucks. I don't even care about this shit. This is what everyone cares about. Fuck this. This sucks. And then I was just like, somehow like germs aren't real. And then like I was living in a house by myself with like stray cats and I had like a ladybug colony. You're like, I don't want to have to take statistics. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Bring in the ladybugs. Yeah. Ah, my eye. That's, but like I got to, fascist. dude, when you fully like swear that stuff off, you get to really appreciate like, and this is my problem in class. I hear people have like, this is so fucked up. Like our current culture and society, Western civilization. I was, I had a legitimate beef with Western civilization at 23. And I was like, hmm, and try to shun it. <laughs> then, like, all it was one trip to the eye dot. I thought I was going to like lose my eye. And I was like, okay, I tap, I tap. It's sick. Damn. It's sick. You guys it would have been a lot better if you lost your eye, to be honest. If you I know. Patch? If I had, is that, that's Crenshaw, right? Senator Crenshaw? The guy with the yeah. futuristic eye patch, <laughs> the fucking James Bond bad guy eye patch. He should just get like total Terminator Salvation cyborg guy. The eye patch he has is ridiculous. You said it was like a fucking. It's a fucking like sticky. Yeah, it's a stick on. Just go patch, dude. You should get go classic wrap around. Wraparound. Wraparound? Yeah, you gotta go wrap around. Yeah, get like a sleep mask, cut it in half, dude. Fucking. I, yeah. I don't know if that would be good because he's a, he's a liberal too, right? No, no he's, no, a, he's, no. A he's, a, he's a pub, dude. Oh, yeah, yeah a liberals pub. aren't accepting oh. eye patched candidates right now. <laughs> now Hillary they... Clinton already fills like the Bond villain role, dude. <laughs> yeah, yo. She dresses exactly like Mini Me, dude. <laughs> <laughs> she always does. <laughs> yeah, she does. Like, Doctor, yeah. She dresses like Doctor <laughs> Evil for real. Yes. <laughs> yo, Billy was de- Billy Black. Filled me hard on Hill Dog. Oh, well, what? On H. What there's happened? Some fucking, apparently, there's some vids. Oh, yeah. Q was hinting at it, dude. Well, Anonymous, apparently. Anonymous was threatening. Apparently, there's a video of uh, Hillary Clinton taking the face off of a young young child and wearing it and dancing. What? Whoa, that's coming out. Well, you know what else? No, no, it's <laughs> coming out. He was really <laughs> telling me. And I was like, oh, man, that's crazy. Yeah. That's some Gotham City shit. Yeah, yeah, that's a dude. doll well, maker. Apparently, right what's yeah. coming out. It's not, it's not going to happen. What it's, it's, not, it's, it's, not not it's not real. <laughs> I got a feeling that one's not real. <laughs> well, what's weird is apparently uh, Anonymous is talking about releasing a video of Bill Clinton having sex with a minor, which is a little more plausible. That one seems definite. However, 
what was just in the news of the and this is Spud pointing this out to me. What was just in the news for the last three weeks? Deep fakes. Like, man, look how good these deep fakes are getting. And all of a sudden, like, we have a video of Bill Clinton fucking girls. It's like, uh oh. Because I think a lot of these heavy news stories first start with someone being like, we have a video, you give us X amount of money. And they're probably like, fuck off. Yo. Or they're how like, about this one. I went on to fucking Snopes.com to find mm-hmm. out if Ilian Omar actually married her brother. Yo, what happened? We were talking about that. Inconclusive. Now. Even Snopes is like, we don't know. Bro. Wait a second. Even oh, yeah. Snopes was like, this is we're not sure. Well, everything that like looks bad, they go, eh. Yeah. I mean, yeah what yeah. is a brother anyway? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Snopes at the bottom. It's like inconclusive. I love being your campaign manager, just coming up, being like, "You married your fucking brother? You yeah. didn't think to tell me?" It's like, yeah. eh, eh, it's Somalia, dude. It was a, sc- it was a fucking it was yeah, paperwork. She it was like it. me when I was when Brittany found out I was technically still married. I'm like, they're just fucking papers, dude. They don't talk <laughs> yeah, about yeah. my love. <laughs> well, didn't she do it to to become a citizen? Yeah, but I it if it's true, did they consummate true. though? They, I think they Somali have kids. Custom. Stop, dude. Oh, I, I believe hold they up, have hold kids. Up. Hold up. Hold up. Wait. Yo, hold on. You're, I thought yeah, it was... I could, if it was... It was Send a him back. Yeah. Well, also, we need to we need to make this clear. Sydney is black. Like, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, sorry Sydney is black. I apologize. Sydney yeah. kid is black, dude. Yeah, yeah. Yo, oh, fuck. sick fucking hair, too. Thanks, man. Damn. Hold up. Yeah. So, you're, I thought it was... Like, a flat top going? That's yeah, nice. Get it going. Yeah, Summertime, like, dude. I thought that that was just like her brother... Like or no, I thought that was just sorry. Obviously, it's a brother. I thought that was just like a paperwork thing. Yeah, and that's like, what's wrong with that? Yeah, <laughs> what's yeah. wrong with fucking your brother? I thought it was a paperwork thing. You're telling me they like have kids? I I I skimmed the article, True. so maybe I'm wrong. I think she has. Yeah, I think she has kids from different. She also had a different husband, in like London or something. Third cousin, no big deal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and one, then one was a cultural marriage. She yeah, and then they get, they got like a cultural divorce, like you know, classic Muslim divorce, classic Somali Muslim cultural. Yeah, which divorce. I don't know if you. Yeah, I don't think Somali divorces are handled well. Uh huh. In Somalia, yeah, you're like, hey, husband, I uh, don't want to be with you anymore. I want to be sexually liberated. Yeah, I want to be sexually liberated. I don't oh, feel sure, fulfilled. No problem. And then it's like, but could you take me to the market, please? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Listen, I gotta go pick up. <laughs> I gotta get some oranges, please. Take me to go get me a ride. I need you to take me to the lawyer to divorce you. (laughs) Every Muslim woman's like a fucking dude with a DUI that has a breathalyzer (laughs) in his van. He's like, listen, I got it. Can you give me a ride down to the fucking bowling alley? (laughs) Yeah, I think you can use your son. Like your son, once your son's like 12, can take you shopping. That's nice. Yeah. That's so, you know, but the thing, I think I might have said it on here. I could be wrong, but it was so funny when Trump was like doing like people were asking him questions. They're like, what'd you say? Do you hear about Ilya Nomar? or whatever her name is, marrying her brother. And he's like, I don't know. I heard that. I don't know if that's true, but apparently she married her brother. I don't know. And everybody on the left was like, oh my God, how can you accuse someone of this? And then every fucking person on the left is like, you know, Trump fucks his daughter. It's like every day you guys are out there being like, dude, he definitely fucks his daughter all the time. And she fucking his retarded son. His retarded fucking son. He fucks his daughter and his wife's a slut. And then it's like, Trump's like, I don't know. I heard maybe (laughs) she married her brother. And everyone's like, that's over the line. He's claiming that the chant was was provocateurs. Oh, no, it was me. (laughs) Sid was in the audience. Are you a black conservative, Sid? I mean, not hardcore. I mean, <laughs> like less than, like le- less than Matt. True. <laughs> yeah. Less I was about to Matt. say, this is like, I didn't want to be outshined in the black. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Realm, I'm, dude. I'm, I'm actually like wearing I'm... white to someone else's wedding, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I feel like the black conservative party is very humble. It is. Yeah, there's it no, is, like, there's is. no showboating, dude. No, it, yeah. everyone's pretty chill. Black Just... conservatives, dude, when they score a touchdown, they hand the ball to the ref. For sure, dude. Jog yeah. back to the huddle. Yeah. We let we let the the white black conservatives do all the celebrating. <laughs> true. <laughs> Take it to the house. That's true. I am kind of a fucking hot dog. You hot dog a little. Oh, dude, I didn't even talk about. <laughs> sorry, what, sorry. I didn't even get into what I was talking about. So, um, it's it's my interaction grid. I I was in a I, f- I find myself a lot of the times like pulling into the Whole Foods parking lot again. We're talking about on the page like driving while high, I'm trying to get out of the practice of driving while high on edibles. It just happens that way sometimes. <laughs> So a lot of times I would have some, I'm in Whole Foods, like uncomfortably high, but I would say at least once a week. So I pulled up in the parking lot. I pulled up in like a little garage and I, I, I started thinking about my, like my grid of interaction. So it's like every, so like you interact with all these people throughout the day. And then when people, so when people are kind of like jammed up about whatever X, Y, Z in their life, in order to like put it into concrete terms, what I was thinking is you have to go out into like your little your literal grid of interaction 
and just start to alter every single constant interact. If you have like a habitual interaction with people, you have to then break it down by person by person to start detecting like where a bunch of weird stuff's coming from because it could be coming from the, not even from those people, but the way you transact socially with people. Does that make sense? Like sometimes people will just naturally assume a submissive role within an interaction in a very small way. Yeah. So it's like you have to kind of like go through all of your interactions and then learn how to be like, this is a thing that I don't like's going on and even like verbalize that within all of your interactions across the span of all yeah. of them. And then rework interaction by interaction until you maybe that'll help you. Yeah, I have interactions with certain people that are just you make fun of each other. Yeah. And you can't get out. Like me and Gerbin. So yeah, you're locked. It's like you're, you're you're locked in a you're gridlocked, not yes. in a bit, but you're gridlocked in a very specific a, interaction. Me and Gerbin, it's a bit. Exactly. It's like I bully him every time I talk to him. <laughs> and I can't get out of it. Yeah, because And so it, like if he's like not feeling good, we just won't talk. He's like, I can't handle that conversation. I'm like, I'm I'm not gonna be mean to you. Yeah, I'm like, what's wrong with you, you pussy? <laughs> Just immediately. <laughs> well, it's, it, it happens on, like, a really small level. Even, like, the way you, like, present. Like, I was, like, again, I'm walking through Whole Foods, and, like, you'll bump carts, and I'll be, like, sorry. And, like, I'll instantly apologize. Like, sorry. And I'll feel myself catching this, like, cringed posture a lot where I'm, like, like, we're both in each other's way. It's like that. I have, like, that servant blood in me, the English yeah, servant, yeah, yeah. where I'm just, like, eh. But, so, yeah, that was my whole idea of going through interaction by interaction and then you have the so while I'm, I'm in the I'm food shopping and then i'm interacting with like strangers and i'm like what the fuck is this about so i'm like talking to the cashier to get my fucking fruit bowl and i'm just like what's the best thing to go about this and i'm like maybe this is just to learn how to go about all my other in like my real day-to-day interactions so i'm like <laughs> i'm talking to this lady i'm like please don't just let's, let's try to just not weird this lady out <laughs> yeah <laughs> while you're high. It can't be good yeah i'm like cuz you're weirding me out i'm like I, it's a very it's a very it gets really and this stuff gets it flies close to pickup artist world where it's like you're yeah. starting to engineer interactions but you do have to be conscious of what you're it's like it's not like you're engineering it but you're just conscious of how what is going on in an interaction and like sure What's the point of it? Why is it this way? Like, you know, it's very kind of yeah, uncomfortable. It's levels. always bothered me. It's when unco- people do that, it yeah, bothers me. It's uncomfortable yeah. for sure. When people are like, this is what I want to get out of this interaction. Yeah. And they start talking to you and it's like. Oh, I, get, I get very uncomfortable and I, I back away from all interaction, period. But yeah, I'd argue like that it's already subtextual. Like, even in bringing it about, even if you're saying you're not going to acknowledge it, there's still a subtextual, not yeah, agenda. Obvi- obviously, there's always a subtext to any fucking interaction. Sure. So, what's but, wrong with becoming but, aware of it? Becoming aware of it and like planning it is weird. Not planning, but just being hyper aware. And then if there's something that actually, there's a lot of times there might be something that's legitimately bothering you about a certain interaction. Yeah. And then bringing that to light and being like, it, it, for me, it works in my like in romantic relationships now, where I just bring up the thing, the way I feel that's negative about whatever the person's doing, rather than being like, "You're fucking annoying." I'll be like, "That makes me, it makes me feel kind of shitty," and they're just like, "Oh, I'm so sorry." Blah blah. blah. So again, this but this is <laughs> so you're just winning arguments with this superpower. <laughs> you say like it comes up in a relationship. I thought you were going to be getting all sorts of sex. You're like, yeah, no, nah, she's yeah. like a dick. She apologizes. Yeah, yeah. She, yeah. I mean, one step better. at a step at a time, yeah, dude. I got to conquer the fucking cashier first before I can have sex <laughs> on demand. A good fucking apology is that's up there with sex in like a long relationship. Oh, we. Oh, for sure. I mean, oh, dude, for fucking oh, you sure. You get a good, like, sorry, I was, that's I was couples, being an dude, asshole. Couples time. counseling, Oof. you can pay, you basically pay to have, like, your bae be like, it's just all the stuff you say. Yeah. And if someone else says it. I, I went through this today. Her mom was basically, just drink water. She's been, like, having headaches all fucked up. I'm like, you don't drink water. She's like, yeah, everything doesn't have to do with water. And her mom's like, <laughs> oh, it, it does. <laughs> it just does. It does. pretty much does. It, it just does. It sucks to even have, have it be like this, but black people don't drink enough water. It's tough, man. Really? Well, don't drink enough water. Like, it's it, it versus the taste sometimes. One hundred percent. Because <laughs> water supposed to, it, it's yeah, not. Maybe fancy. they're not getting the best water. No, no, no. no also, no, maybe no, no. black people traditionally aren't getting the best water. Well, perhaps I mean, a historical a root. This is like Flint. Perhaps Flint a is a very root. small percentage of a very small percentage. Most of us are crushing water, right? Decent, decent water. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah, yeah. yeah, for sure. But. uh you get you get told very early on that uh, don't be drinking no water. <laughs> exactly, <laughs> really. Exactly. Water's for nerds, and just, dude. It's really <laughs> easy in the black community to be considered a nerd or a herb or whatever version of that word you're trying to avoid in your life. Drinking, drinking regular water, dude. Everybody's that drinking something. That's, Brittany uses mio. You gotta ha- you gotta Squeeze have some mio flavor. Crystal you light, have yeah. That flavor. Yeah, because exactly. If you don't have flavor. You're flavorless. Damn, white people. White people need seasoning. Black people got seasoning down. You Too know what down. I mean? 
too well, that might be the problem. Might be too, too much. Bad. You guys seasoning. might be too obsessed with seasoning. Yeah. Well, no, there's there's a in here. I think and this is almost too. <laughs> girls fall into this with like everything need to be delicious. Like everything has to be the most delicious fucking thing. Yeah, but you say girls and predominantly fuck with black girls, so it's, it's still <laughs> black people, yeah. dog. It's not. That's the, it's I'm not a very girls. skewed it's black sample. people, man. Yeah. It's like I'm like everything you eat doesn't have to be delicious. It's like just get it over, eat a quick thing and get it over with and leave. But yeah, the mio is a constant struggle. Or I'm like, yeah. you don't need to squirt like questionable shit and just drink yeah, water. Just spray some chemicals. It's not supposed to be fun. This is just maintenance. Jam it down and go. And she's like, yeah, well, yeah, that's easy for you to say. But she's like, I can't just drink water like Man, that. Nothing like a good flavorless food. Yeah, dude. I love it, dude. Just like a good mush, a good gruel, <laughs> yeah, dude. Just right. a paste. It's like, yes, dude. Yeah. And that's, and that's the... That the, is keen insight, dude. It is. I never got into the psychology behind it. I thought oh, it was just An- more of like... Ansley is obsessed with it. Really? She is obsessed with it. So my wife has this uh, theory that on reality shows, uh-huh. black people are always the first people to cramp. <laughs> <laughs> like in like physical contest, just like anyone, like just, there's always there's always Cramp. a black person cramped <laughs> on reality shows, and it's because it's like they get to these reality shows and the excitement takes them away, and they're sure. used to not drinking water anyway, and there's a lot of alcohol there, and they're just like drinking and shit. God, and just, <laughs> what a reality! Like a guy just on like the bachelor, the bachelor. Like, ah, shit. That that was like that happened. So the one time, really? like, so she had the theory, had the theory, and then like you started looking it up. Like, this real can't world, be the guy's just like fuck you, <laughs> yes. Charlie Horse. I got a yes. Charlie Horse. Yes. Several times. Tech, Several times. Name? Tech goes down. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Party. Let's stop the party, guys. I wonder how many yeah. good cramped outtakes there are of all of oh, them. It's, it's it's nonstop. Like, like the yeah. Housewives of Atlanta must have taken like fucking years to film. Dude, they're still filming the first season right now. Yeah. <laughs> I had no idea, That's dude. That's awesome. Yeah. They have like trainers with like water bottles come oh, running sure, out and dude. stretch them. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, Gatorade is like cramp formula. That's literally why it was started. Gatorade was started yeah. to avoid cramps. Gatorade. That's yeah, why we that's... called our stuff Gatorade. It was Florida. Oh, Down in gotcha, Florida. Yeah. It was a little yeah. hot. The boys were getting fucking it's cramps. Gatorade. Actually, no. you know when they invented it? Where? Post-segregation. Thank once you. Black... <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Once black players 100%. started joining those Florida Gators, they were like, how the fuck do we keep these boys going? <laughs> you got to keep them on the field, baby. You got to keep them on the field. <laughs> yeah, was it? they came up with a delicious quenching yeah, drink. Yeah, it had to be delicious. Oh, they, dude, the initial stages must have been tough, dude. Like, bring mama sweet tea. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The guys are just like, Ugh! just running on the field. With sweet tea. Yeah, there was, uh, there's like stories in football before like Gatorade, like before they understood hydration at all. They'd be like, all right, give them whiskey. Oh, like, yeah. They'd have like shots on the sideline dude. to be like, all right, that, you, you'll, you'll play better. I love how Florida's premier scientist was like, I figured it out, y'all. Pickle juice, salt, sugar. Yeah. <laughs> That was like the leading fucking science down there. Gatorade. Yeah, Gatorade was like. I mean, not in the space. That was their moon the space landing. program. Yeah. But yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that was yeah. after they cured Gatorade. But they're leading the world in pickle juice technology. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like pickle juice. Did they do the space program, or is that just Houston in... and Florida? Okay, it was yeah, yeah. down there. Yeah, I don't even know where NASA is. Where is it? It's just it's a theory. I think you hit it. Yeah. The- yeah, Houston. I think Houston. I think Houston's. H-town. Yeah. I don't know. But I don't think that was like a Southern. I don't, that wasn't like a breakaway Southern invention. No, no, that no, was that like, was... where are we going to put this space shit? And they're like, yeah. It's easier down there. Yeah. Yeah. They didn't. That wasn't like. The South wasn't like, hey, y'all. Hey, y'all. We figured <laughs> out, uh, you know. The moon. <laughs> physics. <laughs> y'all ever want to go to the moon? Let us know. I mean, that was all Nazis, really. We yeah. talked about that. Dude, I read an article today about. Um, I was actually excited to read it. It was. Where the fuck was it? Uh, the, no, that's the other one. Yeah, so it was just about... It said, we got to the moon. We can overcome war and capitalism. I'm like, oh, this should be fucking good. Yeah. It's just a guy being like... We can overcome capitalism? War. Why is that on the same level? I, that's what I was trying to figure out. I'm like, all right, hopefully this guy has some cool stuff to say. Yeah, and it's great. just... It's like, what do you think got us to the moon? War and, war capitalism. and capitalism. I mean, that's... You yeah, dumb fuck. That's actually a very Because we just had point. rockets laying around <laughs> yeah, for yeah, no yeah, reason. Yeah, yeah and, and literal Nazis. He talks about how there was like... We brought like Nazi scientists in to go to the moon. He was like... Even though the whole thing was cold, like... A cold war. The whole thing... <laughs> literally, he, it's it's just like a bunch of nothing. Like the article... You know, again, I'm like... I'm like, this guy has a... I've been looking for the solution between like a different... Like a new economic system. I'm like, is this guy going to fucking give it to me? I'm, I'm looking for it. It's just a thing about him being like, me and my daughter look at the moon, and it's like so beautiful. 
And then, like, I have to think about how, like, we got there, but it was basically using, like, Cold War, Nazi, ballistic science. And I have to, like, live with that. Oh and that, that was a whole article. Oh so I'm like, God. what they the need fuck, to launch dude? him to fucking dude, the moon. Dude, send her back. <laughs> yeah, dude, send him back to the fucking moon. I mean, dude, and it was just, like, eventually, it ended up with, like, eventually we're all going to be... Uh, environmental refugees so like we should just get used to the uh, dude it made no sense and then dude at the end of i'm like the article sucked at the end it says hate racist you'll want to read this Woo! and it's basically them being like give us money because we're doing a make a racist cry campaign so every dollar you give will go directly to our ongoing efforts to make a racist cry and that there's they don't explain how they're going to do what, that just sending me copies of the movie up <laughs> <laughs> But it's like there's no say on how they're doing that. Dude, I'm telling you, the there is going I – th I think I've said this before. The – I mean, you could call it white guilt, Western civilization guilt. That is going. That is an industry. Like this is an industry yeah, being no like, shit. hate racists, we're going to make them cry. Just give us a dollar a month, which yeah. pretty much we do. We're like, are you sick as fuck? Give us a dollar yeah, a month. are you fucking chill? Are yeah. you give fucking us a buck. sick? But dude, I, keep, I keep trying to figure out how to capitalize off of white guilt, but I feel like yeah. I'm too ethical. No, you gotta I'm go too, in on I'm it. Too, every time I try to, I'm like, I can't be, I can't even be seen as this person. No, good, you, good for you, dude. Yeah, I, I, I bought, I bought my girlfriend cashews the other day, and I was reading the bag, and it was like, Jeff Bloomblow, whatever the fuck the guy's name was, actually moved down there and like lived with the people growing them, and then it's like, dude, what the fuck? I don't care. Just, just give me these things, man. It, it's, it's like a whole sales point now on just like nuts. <laughs> You're like I could I can assure you this cacao I bought is just very ethical. It's just fucking weird, and it, yeah, it, it's like a nice thing to do. But now that it's it's a nice thing to do, but now that's a marketing point. That's something they're like oh, you got to get down there, Jeff. You got to live amongst the people, show them what's up with fucking cashews. Yeah, it's <laughs> like all yeah. right, man. You know, I feel like what's funny about this is it, comedy did this right. Just the general way to talk about things. Like, I'm listening to this uh, book right now called The History of Human Language, right? Yeah. Or The Story of Human Language. And it talks about how things get broken down over I time. I appreciate you saying listening, by the way. I didn't I want to start that. a thing between you and that. <laughs> I, I was like, I, I, really was like I, could, I was like, I almost did it to be funny, but I was like, yeah, I don't yeah. want to. I, don't I like appreciate it. I mean, I'm, I'm not limited to the dimensions of a paper page. I'm like way out. True. So. I know that's been your argument yeah. for two yeah. years. So. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I, I get it, too. I mean, I... I support both your arguments. Yeah, I, I, obviously I, also, yeah, yeah, I obviously yeah, yeah, yeah. see both sides. I also, I obviously see both sides. I see both sides too because I'm in a different dimension. Yeah, I pretty That's much fair. fuck with hypertext, but go on. I please. can't wait. I, the only thing I care about is hypertext. All right, go ahead. I'm, I'm, <laughs> <laughs> I'm big into Braille. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they don't read. They feel. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think we should even be confined to books. We should have information linking. Oh, way, but oh no, no, I'm making it all up. I'm making it all up right now. I gotta cut you off. This what? has yeah. been fucking. I've been laughing since we watched. So we watched this thing called SBSK, oh. where this weird, weird dude interviews kids with like horrific disabilities. He just sits down to YouTube channel SBSK. But there's one where he's interviewing this little black kid that's just strapped into a fucking thing, complete vegetable. Yeah. And somebody was like, "I wonder what he's thinking," or like, "What do you think his like inner monologue is?" And I was just like, man, get these motherfuckers out of my fucking house. Like, just like, I've been laughing so hard thinking that this little kid has like a real fucking hood inner monologue. Anyway, he could. It's, about it's it possible. Nonstop. Yeah, it's, it's possible. Everybody's, every, listen, I think most people in America's inner monologue, inner monologue is hood. Is a, yeah, 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 it's pretty hood. Also, it'd be like, what, what would you assume he was thinking? I don't know. Like about it, physics? You, it, can't, you can't do the Hawken bias on him. You can't assume he's just thinking <laughs> physics. Someone's strapped up. You can't assume they're just thinking about like he's literally hanging. It looks like they just strapped him to the back of like one of those like at, like those uh, what are those things like for your back inverter? Yeah, it's Inversion. literally yeah. strapped inverter to the back of one, and he's just hanging there. Well, it's not. It's head up to the head oh, up to the sky. It's nuts. The mouth is north, so he's just like fully just kind of contained. Complete vegetable. Like yeah. there's no. I mean, it's horrible. And the to dude say. interviewed. This guy has a YouTube dude millions yeah. of views. We just interviews like horribly disabled people. Yeah, we talked about it on the page. So it's this like, is yeah, this yeah, is for yeah. the poor. Yeah. This is for this the poor. This is for the poor that yeah, didn't listen. To and, and it'll just be like, so what kind of things do people say to you that bother you? And they're like, I'd rather not talk about that right now. <laughs> yeah. Every like, single yeah. one's like, mm. it's like I, th I thought I was being on TV, my dream to get away from this shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Except for the one kid, the the kid with the Boston camo hat. Yeah. Well, actually, guy, he was like 34. He's like this little, uh, he's got Nagger Miller syndrome. Yeah. Which is hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> he's got a good case of the Nagger. <laughs> but he was like, when, as soon as it came up, everybody in the room laughed. Yeah. 
like, what's it called? <laughs> you got Nagger syndrome. <laughs> but he had uh, uh, at the end he gives like a or in the beginning he gives a pound to the guy. Yeah. And then he types in his board, which takes like a minute, and it's like two fucking brothers and legends unite and it's like yes dude this guy's the best guy ever i know well, this guy should start writing fucking the uh, like, episode descriptions he on really should. these two brothers and legends unite he was already cooler than the guy conducting oh, the yeah. interview it's yeah. crazy anyway so just i love imagining any retarded person's inner monologue being like god damn these motherfuckers out here it's fucking hotter than a motherfucker <laughs> Got me strapped to this motherfucking iron yeah. board. Like, you got, bitch, you better, you better uh, pray to God I don't get unhooked. That'd be funny if they hooked him up to like some sort of like neuropathic yeah, yeah, thing yeah. that spelled it. It was just like S H E E E E E T. He's like, yeah. What's uh, what's the worst part of being in this thing? It's like a minute goes by. She. <laughs> Okay, turn it off. Turn it off. <laughs> he wasn't ready for it. Uh, so I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You were listening. You were listening to this book. Oh, you got oh, another yeah, one. Yeah, there's just a whole team. <laughs> yeah. like, there's another H. There's another H. There's another H. <laughs> H. They're just watching like a seismograph. Yeah. Another H. E E. What's he spelling? T. He's trying to communicate. They with bring us. in a cultural like expert. He's like, uh, Samuel L. Jackson comes in. He's like, he's saying she. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bunk bunk comes in. <laughs> she. <laughs> You oh, guys man. are looking at this wrong. He's spelling. They're like sheet. He's trying to give us his pronoun. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, go ahead. Sis. So okay. you're listening to so uh, the story of human language is what mm-hmm. it's called, and um, it talks about how how language evolves over time, right? So uh, one of the examples it gives uh, the the word alone. That word doesn't really exist anywhere it's not it's not broken down from any word it didn't come from a historical word like the word alone comes from alone which even exists less right yeah so what well, it came from is the phrase all one that's how people used to describe being all alone if they would say all one and over time it became alone yeah do you see what i'm saying so yeah, like, yeah, yeah. like words merge uh consonants drop off like vowels get soft and that's how language basically develops over time so the same thing happens with perception. So we had this this thing where we would uh, we would joke about how, and this is talking about how comedy is responsible for what's happening right now. Yeah. So we would joke about how white people should feel guilty about things. It was like a funny joke, but you're not supposed to actually believe that. Uh, Do you understand know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when you hear that more and more, the next generation gets to take that a step further. So we hear it, we joke around about it. They hear it, and they're like, okay, it, 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 not let, not let's do something about it. I think it takes more. The humor's s- lost. Yeah, the, exactly, yeah, the yeah. humor's lost, and now it's it's like a a trope. It's just a yeah. common thing that people know. White people should feel guilty, or white people are evil. You know, and then when you can easily just say that without consequences in your own ethics and morals to say white people are evil and not question that what you just thought. Yeah. Then we're here. Yeah, it's true. you know. Yeah, I saw a tweet today. It's kind of it's kind of on. It's not really there, but it's like. This lady tweeted out, like, just a PSA, remember, black people can't be racist. And I was just like, that's hilarious. Yeah, like, that I just imagined every, every, black person yeah. I've seen, every black person I've seen at, like, a 7-Eleven. Like, come on, motherfucker. Like, come yeah. on, you dothead motherfucker. Yeah. 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 yeah, I remember I'm, little kids would come in in the one corner store and be like, what's up, o- Osama-looking mother? It was so <laughs> yeah, fucking yeah, funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, that, and that's the funny thing about it, too, is everybody's complaining about uh, Trump that send her back, send them back to their own country tweet. And they're like, people are out there saying that to people. It's like, no, black teenagers are out there saying that to people. <laughs> <laughs> That's who's saying that to people, not people. You did ching chong ass back to China, <laughs> It's like, I am Korean. I am Korean. Get out of my store. Yeah, yeah that's uh, also, too, people just becoming like uncomfortably aware of everything. Like that was, that was like never the, there was, there was always like, don't be mean, don't be racist. And now there's like, <laughs> By your existence, you are like a sheer oppressive force. So be mindful of that. And it's like, okay, like what the fuck am yeah, I supposed right. to do with that? How am I supposed to fucking rock with that? Yeah, I mean, also imagine the other side of that, where it's like, by your existence, you are a complete victim. Yeah, it's like Jesus Christ, it sucks. Yeah, I, it is the weirdest thing to to like be a father with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, how do I sure. how do I tell my son to like? Well, I'm not my son. How do I tell my daughters? Yeah. My son has white skin. Pretty yeah, much. you're honky devil yeah, son. My, he's like, he, <laughs> yeah, right? But that, that's like, I mean, you remember, like, that was one of the things that kind of flipped me even harder. Like, holy fuck, let's pump the brakes here. Yeah. Because 
you're going to look at my son and just automatically call him an oppressor. Yeah. yeah. You know, and it's like he doesn't have oppressor lineage technically. Yeah. You know, like Ansley's family, they were poor. Yeah, he's, no, he's no Beto or work, dude. He no. definitely yeah, had yeah. slaves. Excuse me. <laughs> yes. <Beto's>, excuse me. <laughs> pardon me. Beto um, definitely had them. Excuse me, yeah. but Beto definitely had them. <laughs> Clearly. And yeah. then was like, well, yeah, my family did own slaves, which, yeah, it was basically, I think someone was saying, like, you know, how are you going to rectify that? He's like, well, there's a, uh, the generations have spread quite a bit. And <laughs> honestly, this is why I should be president, because I know directly what slavery can do. And it's like, yeah, make you rich and be the president, <laughs> yeah, yeah, dude. Yeah. It's like, the fuck out of here. Every politician had him. Oh, yeah. yeah. Ilya Omar had him. She had some smallies. Stop. Oh, believe me. You think so? Come on, bro. <laughs> what? Come on, bro. <laughs> you yeah. what? I shouldn't be on the air right but now. You, dude, that's, <laughs> that's, that's, that, what you're saying... <laughs> makes sense because it's like if my kid will be half black so am i like if my kid's like having a problem as his father do i have to be like i have some points to make but i gotta stand down and respect your experience right now because i just don't understand oh you gotta stand the fuck down it's crazy it's like it'd be yeah. like well i don't uh, I, I can't speak on this right now Are son you, you can't give any fatherly advice yes yeah, your, your son's gonna be raised in the house with two parents by a single mother like you can't say anything you can't help I couldn't. Yeah, technically, I wouldn't you have be to able sit to. back and watch, like go to the grocery store. Yeah, you know, supply rations. Basically, like nothing, no heart to hearts. Yeah, if I were to be like, listen, son. Yeah, you could teach him lacrosse or some shit. But she's got to teach him. Actually, that'll be a sick tactic if he's just like, um, excuse me, dad. I'm like, fuck, don't fuck, <laughs> goddamn it, you son of a bitch. Yeah, but yeah, that is a weird. Well, all that stuff breaks down when you start getting into like biraciality, then it's like, uh. Well, no, then you're black and oppressed automatically. Yeah. yeah, Obama. Yeah. Barack Obama. Obama, he's never been oppressed a day in his life. Whoa. Ob- Obama's, that's a CIA family. That's a CIA family? Yep. For Obama sure. Yeah. Cool. yeah, yeah, bro. CIA family. Dude, did we even talk about our new political leader? Who? Our new fucking queen. Who is that lady? Cherie Murray. Nah. Ooh. Absolute queen, dude. She's running against AOC, right? Yeah. She's attacking yeah. the squad. She came out with a fucking fire tweet. This was like what? last week. Uh, Sheree Murray tweeted There's a crisis in Queens And it's called AOC She isn't worried about us She's worried about being famous That's why I'm running for Congress Join our movement Whoa. Damn oh, yeah. What's she doing now? Shri- how, how is she fitting in Amongst the media narrative And like the persecution of the squad? Because I feel like right now She's in a strange <laughs> space Yeah she, she just Because the squad's under fire right now Wow, dude. She's conservative She's a Republican She's Damn. a Republican? I love this country It's been a land of opportunity For me and my family uh, we must get back to positive dialogue and solutions. AOC and the radical left want to divide us. Woo. God bless the goddess, Let's build dude. bridges instead of burning them down. God damn. Yeah. Sheree Murray, dude. Well, that's colorblind. <laughs> She's committing what's called colorblind racism. So if you're in this context and you're like, yeah, there's some shit that's obviously gone down, but let's like kind of focus on like our similarities and try to build like mutuality. And people be like, huh, easy for you to say. Because you're white and you're committing colorblind racism, which is just as bad. It's like, what What should I do then? I can't be regular. Ra- it's like your options are like regular racism, far left, like, as a white person, it's time to do it. And then the middle ground is just demonized. Being like, all right, we're all human beings. Let's fucking try to establish some sort of normalcy here and not be weird around each other. It's like, oh, uh, yeah. Yo. Easy for you to say. Sorry, I'm, re- I'm just looking at Cherie's Twitter. She's, she tweeted, thank you, Donald Trump, about his, uh, he said, just had a very good call with Swedish Prime Minister who assured me that American citizen ASAP Rocky will be treated fairly. Likewise, I assured him that ASAP was not a flight risk and offered to personally vouch for his bail. I saw that yesterday. I mean, Trump dog's putting up bail for ASAP. Yeah. yeah. What, a, what a world. See, I get into it where I'm like, I think 90% of the stuff staged, and it was just ASAP Rocky was just like, or maybe he did get arrested, and they're like, "Oh, perfect, perfect." Wait, you perfect. thought ASAP? So you thought he was in on it? I mean, dude, mm, for enough nah, fucking dude. money. Come on, for enough money. Or he got arrested. But it's imagine like you're a rapper and you got arrested, and now you hear a bunch of politicians are trying to spring you, and you're like, "What?" Like it obviously looks it looks great. ASAP, I love ASAP Rocky. Like he took a break. Is, he's like my favorite rapper well, right now. He's good, but it's funny to think of like Trump's doing his thing, which whatever you people think it is, but it's like say he's there, he's like making the tough. He's like basically like. Not granting asylum for people in Central America, and then he gets into, like President ASAP Rocky's in jail, and he's like, "What? Oh, you gotta oh, get yeah. him out, bring I mean, him back." <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Amer- American citizen yeah. ASAP Rocky. Yeah. Also, no one, no one on Earth believes that this is a genuine like, concern <laughs> yeah. for Donald Trump. Yeah, it was just so weird. It's just hilarious. It is funny. It is very. It's funny that someone was like, "Put up his fucking bail, dude." People think you're cool as fuck. Yeah. 
I, but he, I, I think he, well, I don't even think somebody bail. has to say something to him. I think he, lo- he enjoys doing these types of things yeah, because he knows sure. the liberals can't say That's true. a thing about for it. For sure. You know well, his mean? strongest thing he's done with that, with the sanctuary cities, rather than fighting them, he was like, all right. And he started directing like tons of immigrants <laughs> to them. That's like puts you in a tough spot. Yeah. That's my thing with immigration. It's like. I have like I have no beef with immigrants as like seeing them, but if to be like, I think it's cool. If if it was up to me, we wouldn't have like borders in a country. But that's why I'm not in charge because that would probably spell disaster. Some, you know what I'm saying? Like I don't like it. Just because I I'm like yeah, dude, fuck it, let's get rid of them. That's as far as my like, as, like get rid of borders and countries. That's as far as my brain takes it. I imagine there's like a consequence beyond that that I'm too dumb to understand. No borders. Yeah, to there's go, some r- crazy consequences. Total borderless, just like I think you could understand some of those consequences. Yeah, like okay, now our government, like, how do you decide who's making the rules? That's well, that's what I'm saying. So it's like when you're if if you're like, look, man, I have no problem with immigrants. It's just if you totally just like <laughs> let everyone come in, that might spell a very like practical problem. You know what I mean? And to bring that yeah. up, they're like. Racist. Like you'll you're be like, living, no, 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 no. Like, you're and I'm next to some Ukrainians this is, that like shoot their guns every time the Eagles yeah. score. <laughs> <laughs> this is like me. Yeah, this is me going sick. against my nature, being like, well, we should probably have some sort of like having some sort of countries and boundary. It, it bothers me that I need a passport. I'm like, why can't I just fucking fly into this place? This is annoying and stupid. Oh yeah, Americans should be able to go anywhere. They used to be able to, but then a lot of countries started being like, like Brazil did it. Brazil was just like, oh, you made us get fucking uh, visas? Yeah. You have to get visas. And you're like, what the fuck? And I don't even feel like I'm being nationalist about that. I just feel like. True. We're good. Yeah, we're not going to. Yeah. Yeah. You we're, are. We're pretty cool. <laughs> <That's> pretty clearly. <laughs> yeah. No, we're pretty cool. But I mean, like, what? Yeah. <laughs> how many how many incidents have there been of Americans like flying to another country and it's like fucking it up? <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Without the U.S. military. Not every behind. single country. <laughs> 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 you, gotta very, you gotta be very specific. Civil, with sorry, positive question civilian like coming through. True, but although I think, the guys, I think who, they go under the guise of Bert, civilian. Bird doll, bird doll, true, bird doll, bird doll. Yeah, bird doll. No, you're right. That that is a totally different. Those, those guys aren't coming here on vacation. They're like, hey, we're like, CIA. <laughs> yeah. Hi, I'm, I'm at customs. Fair point. And this yeah. is why I shouldn't be establishing like uh, <laughs> immigration <laughs> policies. No I'm like, wait a second. You're like, oh wait, yeah, they, they weren't coming here on vacation. Some guy wasn't just like there wasn't just Some like guy in a suit just wasn't carrying just, a beach towel. There wasn't twenty gentlemen on <laughs> flight ninety seven just like <laughs> they're like oh nice oh wow you can see that and they're like fuck it this is wrong get down <laughs> so yeah you're right but yeah that's 93, the one ninety three is that what you're talking flight ninety three yeah, yeah. is that like, what you're talking about yeah they're like look at these fucking fields in central Pennsylvania I'm sick dude. of these fields fuck this shit do you think that's what they were targeting fields. <laughs> They hate, yeah. They haven't seen grass before. Sure. They're probably flying over and like, what the fuck is that? What the fuck? What the hell is going on? It's an abomination. <laughs> but yeah, that's a uh, that's my thing. It's like, dude, we can't just co- why can't people just come up with a sane immigration policy? Just to be like, look, it's like obviously you can't like when they're like because the way they present it is like there's people coming here who need to get in here and we can't do anything. It's like again, that's a slippery slope, dude. There's fucking billions of people in like just utter starvation. So yeah. if we're like, hey, everybody, let's go. If we could do that, awesome. I did. I just don't think that's possible right now. Well, I mean, you, you, you. If you would, ex- if people would appeal to their better nature, sure. Well, yeah, that's what it is—an appeal to the better nature. Yeah, but that's not what people. That's are. what I'm saying. Your better nature does not necessarily comprehend comprehend reality. But even, even like you're like you're like your 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 mild your mildly okay nature, right? So. I mean, of course, I was joking around. I don't think Americans should be able to go anywhere they want to, although we should, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But but you can't have that because then you'd have people in China like just doing all sorts of disrespectful shit because Americans can go anywhere. They'll have that attitude. They'll be mad, yeah. Yeah, they'll just be walking in place with their shoes on and well, shit. That's true. <laughs> that's true. I wonder if that is like Asian rebellion. Like you keep the fucking BK night strapped up. Oh, <laughs> you go with, if you go yeah. into the parents' house. Hell yeah. Although I think there's like you would catch some, it would it would probably turn into like like a, like a kill bill scene of like bamboo versus like if they're yeah. hitting you with like a disciplinary bamboo as a kid you pull it up and you start bow staffing. It's probably too many martial arts skills for people for their own good over there. If, you, if you're beating your imagine if your dad was just like beating you but it was like a thousand punches of death. It was yeah, like, if your dad just <laughs> had pressure points like real good fucking yeah. you just pass out. I wonder every how time many you... Asian kids have been karate chopped by their dad. <laughs> <laughs> Like at yeah. the dinner table. Like, f- what? <laughs> just pass out and go into a seizure for nine seconds. I wonder if there's any like poison, like like mildly poison darts. 
You're just like fuck around with your brothers. You're. <laughs> <laughs> that's what early discipline was for Asian children. That's so? why they. That's why they bow. Yeah, that was just very... like them traditionally just passing out from the boys. <laughs> yeah. I would say that's something no one talk. Well, <laughs> some comedians talk about that. They're like, yeah, white people don't know about that. Asian parents like beat us up pretty bad, but it's like Asian dads probably fuck their kids. Oh up. yeah, yeah. Like, you would like very those like, in the house flip flops. Yeah, <laughs> yeah <laughs> those things must be. Yeah, dude. I wonder they never explored that. Like the uh, the link of like like when Miyagi strokes his beard. That must have been like a lot of Asian American kids were probably like. Trigger a little bit, yeah, by it. yeah. Or in the Kill Bill when he throws his fucking beard to the side. Imagine that your dad's sitting there and he's fucking strokes his super long goatee. <laughs> Bring home that A minus dude. He bicycle kicks you because <laughs> <laughs> the beatings you would need to be beat for a lot more. What yeah. do you mean? Well, a lot of like Asian Americans, a lot of Eastern Americans say say they get like disciplined like A's. They, the whole thing is that like their parents yeah, they don't accept. B plus. Yeah, they get a B plus or in serious trouble. Yeah. And they're also saying they get beat a lot. So it's like, are you getting beat for a B plus? I don't know. It's an interesting thing because I, I do feel like Chinese dads are definitely docile. You think so? Docile men. So but yeah, you're you're but there's Taoists and there's Confucianists. True, that's that's true. It's a fifty about a fifty fifty split. True. So I think if your dad's a Taoist, he would just kind of go to the top of a mountain. You wouldn't see him for like 65 years. Yeah, so. Yeah, yeah. so I'm going to get a pack of cigarettes. <laughs> just leaves your family. No, he's just like, what is a pack of cigarettes? And just like what walks even out- is that? <laughs> walks outside. Yeah, I was thinking though. Buddha left the- his family. Nice. No, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Sid Siddhar- the- Siddhart. Sid. Yeah, Siddhart. Sid. Yeah, Siddhart. I call is him Sid. It- yeah, Sid. Uh, Ilian Omar, like anybody that like sneaks into the country illegally or like, I don't know. If- I don't have any borders I want to get to. But like if they were like. You can never go to a Notre Dame game unless you fucking. <laughs> the only way you can get in that stadium is if you marry your sister. You would do it. But I gotta do something. Yeah, but then would you, again? We I gotta find out if she had kids or not. And at this point, I'm I don't know. Honestly, like at a gut level, am I really like? I mean, that's kind of problematic. When they're like, she had kids. I'm like, okay. Yeah, but I, I, I think wasn't like blown out of the water. Sneaking into the country and getting away with it is is pretty American. I fuck with that. Yeah, like that if, you, is, yeah. if you get in. Long enough to become a fucking U.S. congressman, or yeah, kind of yeah, whatever yeah. the hell she is. Like she, she made it that True. far. At that point, we have to be like, okay, you got us. Yeah, I think we should have like strict boundaries. But if you get past them, you're in. Yeah. You're like nice, definitely. Good job. Definitely. Pretty much, that's kind of the rule too. That is the rule. Like most people are just like, once you get in, it's like, what well, do you want to do? The dreamers, dude. That's true. You, if you have, you know, if you have a child, he's in. That's kind of the rule. If you get in, people are like, all right, nice. It's kind of the best. It's like survival of the fittest. It's like what what better way do you make sure you're getting the best from the country? It's like well, we'll set up a really difficult obstacle course. Yeah, like gets through American it. American Ninja Warrior. You're course. a citizen. Well, apparently we like fifty percent of the immigrants come like fly in and go and like work in like specialized fields. Like it might even be like sixty or seventy. It's like a large portion come in from like Asia, India, other countries, and like go in like the medical field. But then if you have people come up from South- Central America. A lot of times, not all the times, a lot of times are kind of like lacking educational skills. You do want to make some like rugged physical obstacle courses to ensure that when they get here, you know, yeah, they're going to be able to work. We're yeah. not just getting lazy lads. Exactly. No. Yeah. Yeah. Like you don't want the lads who like got up to like Sonora, Mexico and are like, yeah, I'm yeah, hot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm hot. So, yeah. That must be filled the with dudes just, who get in. That's the yeah. thing. Like, it must every- be a chill ass town. There must be some chill fucking towns on the way up. From, oh, like, Honduras, wow. just stopped in Mexico, and I'm like, fuck it. Yeah, Juarez. Let's just chill here, bro. Juarez is pretty fucking... Juarez is Juarez chill Juarez is, like, you can kick back and relax. Yeah, they're like, we don't even want to settle a dispute. Let's just kill these motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even feel like going through the process of talking this out. But yeah, that's that's so weird to me. That's, like, a thing where it's like, oh, what? You don't want to give everybody, like, food when they get here from around the world? It's like, I mean, it would be nice. I would like that. But yeah. it's like, what's the plan, guys? They're definitely giving them food when they get here. Yeah, for sure. No, that's but I'm not saying, what AOC said. They're giving them toilet water. That's good. It's good be- toilet water. Yeah, better than what I was about it, to say. It that's, yeah. Could be good toilet water. My cousin filled up our teacher's water bottle with toilet water. Yeah. My, my, maybe my friend. My, I don't know. It was one of them. Took it. It dumped it in the toilet, filled her up. I hawked a loogie in my teacher's. Did you drink it? And he drank it. And then I sent him a note that said, how'd that fucking taste? Stop, dude. <laughs> yeah, dude. What? Yeah. Did you handwrite the note? Yeah. That's ballsy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a ballsy. Well, you, you yeah, I've, told this, I've told this story before. I was drawing, I so. uh, 
I was drawing a picture. When he walked in, I was drawing a picture of him on the chalkboard in front of the class with a dildo on his head. You never told me this. Yeah, I drew a dildo on his fucking head. Nice. How did he, how did you specify it was a dildo in the picture, not just like, like a, a strap, organic like penis. a buckle, wow. like a strap on? Oh, his you're forehead. into that. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he caught me, and he was like, "Get the fuck off there, you fat bastard!" He called me a fat bastard in front of everyone. What? So I, I was like, "Okay." How old were you? It was high school, dude. Yeah, I was like a sophomore, or junior. <laughs> fat bastard. Yeah, yeah. So I went, loogied in his fucking drink, sat down. Uh, then I watched him drink it. Watch him take the loogie, too. You could visibly Ooh. see him oh. take it. And then I sent a note up, and I said, how'd that taste? Signed, the fat bastard. Holy <laughs> shit. Yeah, and then he was like, I got to talk to you after class. Like, I'm not, I can't tell anyone you did this, but we're done. Does he know yeah. that you, he swallowed a longer? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> uh, yeah, I fucking <laughs> told him I did it. I did it and told him I did it. So he had choked on, you saw him I swallow saw him the longer drink it now. and be like, it's <laughs> all his face I was in the back of the class Just like yes There was no part of me That thought it was funny It was a pure oh, ven- sure. of Act not. of yeah. Absolute vengeance Shit And then I told him Man And That's he was like even Because he could have lost his job For that You didn't not tell I don't then. think he would have Gotten a lot then. of trouble you, It was Catholic, Catholic school? school Yeah He yeah, would have been Catholic clear. school he, he did me a favor True He had the opportunity To fucking get me Like expelled Yeah at a Catholic school You can call someone A fat bastard And like Your yeah. parents yeah. Especially in. if they're like What was he doing <laughs> Yeah it's he kinda... Drawing a picture of me With a <laughs> An apparatus on my head <laughs> What kind of apparatus Was he a dildo head <laughs> No he was the man I, I yeah, liked yeah, him Yeah Well clearly he was the man The way he handled that situation Yeah it's true dude He, he, swallowed, the he swallowed longer He was a yeah. young Young teacher and he was the man. To say, like, just be able to squash it like that to say, look, we're done. That's man. Like, he yeah. was like oh, giving yeah. you a lesson in some man to man shit. Yeah, yeah. And also call like, you a fat bastard. Hilarious. <laughs> but that's on the table, though. You you drew a picture with him with a dildo on his head to embarrass him. Like, he's walking, he, he's probably seeing you as the man already. He probably already <laughs> yeah, liked yeah, you. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> and then he comes in and he's like, oh, this fat bastard. <laughs> he wasn't even, yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought we were cool for a second. Yeah, and then he did, he did sit me down and be like, you and me are done. Yeah, I'm not gonna tell anyone you did this, but you and me are done. Yeah, we ain't cool no more. It's just a shame because me and him were friends, but he caught me on a bad day, yeah. dude. He, you know, you caught him on a bad day. We, we, he you caught war, each other dude. on a bad we day. Got war. He did declare war. You technically won. I've eviscerated him. How were you? Swallowed great? a loogie and then what I class sent was this? Religion. Yeah, he probably still <laughs> my religion oh my teacher. <laughs> He's my religion oh, teacher. God. You guys couldn't settle that a more ethical way between <laughs> yeah, the two yeah, of you. Yeah. Oh. That was religion. Ooh. That basically sums up Catholic education. Yeah, just total war. <laughs> just well, absolute it's like war everyone preaching these on like the high, home front. Everyone preaching these like <laughs> half understood ideals. Or, like super high minded, and everyone's like spitting each other's drinks. I'm like you fat fucking bitch, fuck you. Wow, yeah, that's man. like a perfect fucking model. Yeah, if you was, were thinking uh, about Catholic education for your child, that's a, that's a perfect commercial. That was a good lesson, though. It should just be a Catholic education. Should be like here at St. Thomas and have a kid throw something. And the teacher's like, "Faggot!" <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Wait, lesson for you or him? I think both. Okay, fair I think enough. for him it was probably don't get too friendly with students. Oh, definitely, because he was distance. new. He probably he was saved, young. He was you saved him from fucking a student. Yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah. That that's was a the tough, long, that a, was the longer that saved his life. Might have been, dude. He gets away with calling you a fat bastard, like yeah. knowing you were the man, and everybody loves that. Yeah, dude. He's definitely he was a week out from being oh, Linda. Yeah. You yeah. fat titted bitch, sit down. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Linda, you cunt. <laughs> yeah, that was. Uh, yeah, I'm Damn, not proud bro. of that. I was. I was. I'd I felt shame as a kid. I felt shame afterwards because just the way he handled it. It's and the, it wasn't a, it wasn't like a ha ha this is funny type thing I did to him. Yeah, it was like a genuine like fuck you. I think what, whoever it was my friend or cousin or I don't think it was me. I think it was my friend or cousin. Whoever filled the teacher's water bottle up in the toilet, that was a genuine like fuck. Whoever did it was like fuck this bitch. And I remember watching it like oh, oh. And she sipped, dude. She sipped it. It was like mm. she's like this tastes weird, dude. The whole oh. class is just like oh oh. God, yeah, as, a, as a teacher, that when the whole class laughs after you're like, this tastes weird, it must be like, oh my oh, yeah. God. <laughs> she was so, what could this be? She was so dumb. She was like, you guys are weird. No, oh, yeah, she yeah, was yeah. So dumb. no, no. There's, nah, in Catholic school, there are some Yo, dude, full retards you. teaching classes. Okay. This like, l- like legit, dude, like legit dude, fucking morons teaching This lady classes. tried to get us to read Les Miserables, and then like, we'd have to do like out loud reading, and everyone's like, We're, this book's boring. We're not reading it. No, everyone refused to read it. She tried reading it, and just like, 
she gave up. She couldn't. Do it. <laughs> she, she, like, started, it. <laughs> she she started doing it. It was really funny. I remember. So she was like this big. She's like a, a bigger lady. Like it's like she loved the fucking flyers. She rigged a field trip so that we could oh, go to flyers. Yeah, yeah this you lady. Told me about this lady. Big husky lady. I remember. A, I told you this too when we talked. We had a big husky lady that loved uh, the Hershey Bears, dude. She loved hockey. Yo, it's she so, loved AHL hockey. It's so weird. Big, big studs love the NHL, dude. Yeah, dude. They the love spirit, it's like a goalie ice. trapped in like a lady's body. <laughs> they just slowly have no choice but to bulk up. They yeah. just want to get on the ice. Dude, she, uh, what the fuck did she do? Yeah, she brought us there to do that. I, forget, I don't even remember what the fuck I was talking about. But she brought you to the NHL. She brought you to the Flyers game. She brought us to the Flyers game. Yeah. So then, like, no one ever met her husband. And, dude, as a little kid, it was the weirdest thing. I was like, dude, I bet you her husband's skinny as fuck and has a mustache. I was in eighth grade. Called it on the fucking spot, <laughs> dude. Husband showed up, skinny dude with a mustache. And everyone's like, how the fuck did you know that? And I was like, I don't know. I don't know. No. I just got a, I, I, like, got a hold of this lady for a year. And she, every time she mentioned her husband, I just met, I just pictured like a skinny Kenny's dad, basically from South Park. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like, that's definitely what her husband looks like. And I, and I was right, and I was like, holy fuck, that's crazy. That's a uh, that's a fetish stash. Is it really? Yeah, it's like at, in that time period, especially when when we were kids. Well, I mean, I guess I'm a little older than. Oh, you're saying like, that was kind like, of. A, it was like it was, it was like because it's hard. It was hard to talk to. It's hard to talk to a fat chick and let her know that you're actually into her. Uh, you would have that mustache. Yeah, especially as a white you know, guy. Yeah, it provides, it provides context. <laughs> yeah, exactly. As a honky, exactly. that's tough. It's tough. As a honky, tough for you're saying guys. in order to get some fats, you needed to have a stash. You Still to, to this something. day, you got to have a stash or something. Or some sort of flash. Know, like a weird posture. It's like a, it's like a <laughs> trucker <laughs> peacock. Yeah. That's like a flag to be like, I'm slightly sexually, sexually deviant yeah. in the 80s. I mean, I could get with that. Yeah. Yeah, mustache was either you're gay or, yeah, you're something. 100%. Mustache used to be you're gay. True. Any, I was thinking it's nice having like a little Coke filter underneath your nose. Yeah, like, yeah. When Freight, you were talking Mercury, about uh, when you were talking about Asian dads doing the beard, yeah. no dads had beards. No, beards were gay back then. No, yeah, you didn't have that. Now everybody's. You'd be, dad well, you're dude. If you were if in the seventies, if you had a ponytail, people assumed you were carrying a weapon. True, <laughs> you have an Uzi. Yeah, if you sure. had a seventies, if you had a ponytail in the seventies, like the whole town would like gather around and talk about you. Like <laughs> we need to do something about this motherfucker, <laughs> yeah. dude. If you had a long beard, well, that's because like they came from the sixties and all the hippies had beards and hair. So as a dude, if like you were like trying to be a straight laced normal dude, you were just like crew cut, no facial hair for a long time. True. If your dad had a beard, he was probably a pussy. Yeah, he was probably fair a to say. Yeah, fair to they say. Kept it. Yeah, it was fair. They didn't do like the beard mask. Now they there's a big the beard like, with like this tattooed. There's sleeves. a big masculinity yeah. thing where it's like I'm a man. I have a beard. I go to a barber. Yeah, it's like okay. I go to the same lady who cuts my hair for fourteen. I buy bucks. leather goods online. I have a leather satchel. Yeah, dude. Well, that's like dudes Ugh. trying to be men through like consumerists. I go to the axe throwing place in Philly. I throw hatchets. Well, that's dudes yeah. now buying their masculinity back. Sad. Well, it's, no, it, it's pussies trying to buy into masculinity. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's yeah, like because yeah, yeah. we, you know, like all the people Shane used to bully in high school are now making all the rules and shit for society. True. So they're like, well, we get to be men too. How do we do it? And they're like, yeah, well, yeah, go yeah. throw yeah. Axes. axes. Yeah, it's like, what's more manly than throwing True. axes? You know. it's... That's kind of lame. True. All yeah. my friends that were cool in high school don't have beards. Interesting. Think How many of them throw axes on a regular basis? They, they well, would be furious if I told them that that was even yeah. an activity. No one ever talks about this, but I remember there was... You black out in golf every weekend. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Nobody... They're all getting fat, which is hilarious. That's fantastic news. Every Dude, if you played sports, you are fat now. Oh, for Back, sure. If you live in that town. Because oh, you use yeah. your body, you're done with it. Yeah, it's over. Yeah, you don't it's have, like, yeah, I got to yeah. golf and black out on the weekends and yeah. go to work. Hell yeah. Yeah, dude, the... Um, By the way, we have a plenty of bearded listeners. This isn't a shot at you, dude. You're obviously the man if you're listening to this. Yeah, you're obviously sick, dude. You're obviously sick. Dude. Oh, yeah, beards now are different. Beards now are like... Yeah, but there is that... Like, I was, you know, if you're in Fishtown, go through there. It's just like... Oh, stop. Well, nobody... Like short shorts with a beard. Yeah, but well, people failed, and I, I watched this from way on. There was... In high school, there was kids that were, like, in the emo scene. And then I watched them, all, all the kids I knew who, like, bought into, like, the apparel associated with being, like, in the emo scene, I watched them all switch as they got a little older into the hipster scene. Oh, yeah. So that's something no one ever talks about. This is just a, a person just slowly buying into every single fad that emerges. Absolutely. So it's like, We've you know, talked about that and now, a million times. Exactly. So yeah. it's like, but the there was the emo to hipster switch. Which, you know, I, I hate talking in these kind of terms, but it was just like, I remember being like kids that wore these weird rubber band looking bracelets and had like punky look buttons on their school bags, traded it in for like just a new set of, I remember watching kids I haven't seen for years, I'd see them again, they'd just be dressed in the way of like 
what I was like. Yeah. I remember when hipsters were coming around, I was like, why is everyone dressing like this? I didn't understand what it was. And like, it became a thing you could say. And now it's yeah, just like yeah, we all just assume, you know, it's normal. And now hipsters kind of evolved into the man up. Yeah. tough guy with a beard. <laughs> yeah. And a tattooed sleeve and like. But like conscious and aware of the fact that, that their masculinity could pose a problem. So like they have to. Oh, like, very. Yeah. It's They're really very, weird. Yeah. And they, they do that question talk that the women do. Oh, the, yeah. The NPR. It's like, I'm not trying to be offensive. It's like, oh uh, my God, you just did. You yeah. just did. Yeah, that's weird. That's a weird thing nobody ever talks about. How they just all switch. It's up like talk. That's the yeah. name of that. It's okay, called yeah, up yeah, talk. Yeah, yeah, and that, and so I, I, I get to, uh, like, I'm, I'm around all these. I'm a stay at home dad. I'm with my kids during the day, so I go to do these things, and. It's like trying to. Oh, by the way, I keep bringing up your podcast to see if they're cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like I just, like, I just like just to check. Oh, and I did. Uh, fuck, I can't remember his name. I did bump into uh, one guy that did listen to your podcast. So oh, if you're listening, that reminds now, me. I got to shout out uh, Carpy and Booty, dude. The Bulls. What's up, Elite. What's up, I was dogs? when I was walking in my car today. This guy, he pulled over and was like, he lowered his window down. I was like, look at this fucking shirt, dude. Look at the shirt. He was wearing a Matt and Shane shirt. Damn. Yeah, hell, it was awesome. Yeah. Carpy and hell, booty. Yeah. That's hilarious. Yeah. Elite dogs. So you're yeah. saying you see dads. Yeah, and they're they're just like, um How are they hanging out with? The, so what they do is they try they try to not re- I don't want to say relate to the women, but they try to make it seem like, oh yeah, we're like moms too. What? <laughs> right? Well, yeah, because being a being a mom is powerful. Exactly. So now men are like, I'm you know, I'm that. So you can't. They, they, you, you also can parent your child as a father, right? Yeah. But it, it's like they're trying to parent their kids as male moms. Whoa. It's really. Is that because they're like I don't understand? Are they like? Do you think these guys are jammed up about the fact that they're staying home and they're not like the well, breadwinner? Hold on, don't pause. You guys keep yeah, going. Yeah, go yeah. Ahead, go ahead. It's because go nobody, ahead. nobody really knows what anything means, right? So you have uh, little boys who are naturally like aggressive. They want to jump on things, climb on things, and yeah. be, be aggressive, bump into each other, throw each other down and stuff. And that is a great release for little boys. Yeah. They go do that. Like little girls, they go in a corner and talk shit about each other, even at a really early age. They start yeah. isolating. That's a good release for little girls. You've watched right? that. Yes. Like my like at three, four years old, that already happens. Damn. Like they'll get in little groups and they'll be like, well, these girls like this toy, and these girls like this, and it's like they start separating, and they'll have like yeah. a group of people, and they'll, they'll they really early on you see girls they like to name their group. Yeah, I've I've said this before. I think the female ego's aggression is rooted in exclusivity. One hundred percent. So that's that's the female aggressive move is to like find someone and exclude them, and they play with it because this is crazy, this is something dude. they're going to be using for the rest of their life. So they have to Whoa. learn how to use it as them. Does, does that yeah, make any yeah, sense yeah, to you? Yeah. So, like, because each person doesn't get to use it the same way. Like, the fat, tall girl doesn't get to use it the same way the petite, pretty girl Their exclusionary does. powers are limited. Different. Whoa. They have to use different tactics, right? So, Shit. they could probably reach the same heights of power, but the methodology behind them are going to be vastly different. Damn, dude. Talking about little girls excluding each other on the playground. Yeah. <laughs> fat bastard shut <laughs> <Yeah>. the door. <laughs> <laughs> Shane, Shane, fat bastard, in his way into the room. <laughs> Where's your drink? So what's up? Yeah, I'm like, I'm cool. no, I saw when you said that that cut a little. He's like, I just, uh, I just fucking told you. Well, yeah, no, you, no, no, it didn't cut. But go ahead. When yeah. you said that, I know I did notice when you're telling that story. I'm like, you don't. When people hit you with fat, it fucking pisses you off. Well, all right. uh it's tough to show vulnerability on here, but uh, <laughs> you're just going to be punished. Yeah, um, no, I got fat just, bullied. It's just a thing where it's like if if you're saying that, like it's any any, it doesn't hurt my feelings. Yeah. It hurts my feelings to know someone thinks they're hurting me. Yeah, that's when it bothers Dude, me. Dude, it... then like if you called me that, yeah, if I th- I would if come you at thought you, I was genuinely, I would being bring like... down the hammer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not going to. <laughs> Because I respect you. <laughs> I was fat. You gotta, I got teased. Yeah. For, I have I have lingering fat insecurities. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the uh, uh, I, I got I, teased viciously for being fat. But they didn't really like. I don't know. Doesn't yeah, it? I just used it to my my powers. Dude. Yeah, I just sure. became an elite offensive lineman. We were Sick. literally just talking about how Sick. he was saying watching young girls and how all they can, their power is kind of like I think I said this before on the, on the podcast being before, sluts being being sluts. <laughs> But ex- within intergroup between them, it's being like ex- uh, exclusive. Like women are aggressive through exclusion of others. Mm-hmm. So like they'll cut, they'll be like not invite someone somewhere. And he was saying he's watching like three year olds, like 
click up and like push people out. Like we like this and like kind of like edging people out. Yeah, no, yeah, do it yeah. over like like preference of toys or like colors. Yeah, you know, he was find, saying how whatever they can find to say we're this and builds they're of that. Girls watching them do that differently. Yeah, and when, and when men do men do that now. And it's a real feminine fucking move. Like I, you see it in like like when clicks, like especially in comedy, though, yeah. where it's like somebody will walk over to a table and like we don't talk to them. Like, well, did, like yeah, gay didn't, shit like didn't that. the woodman just get like dumped? I see, I think that was older. Okay. I think that was an old thing it's that old took news. place. But yes, still wood, so yeah. funny. The woodman and uh, another Philly comic he had they had to break up because the other comic was like, I I can't hang out with you anymore because of who you associate with. Do I it's just pretty for, let me uh, let me can i just say this sure. uh uh chris wood i fucking love you <laughs> like i don't i'm not saying that had something to do with me but do i know that you've always had my back no matter how much this scene has ever tried to turn on me so i appreciate yeah, yeah, that yeah. like Woods, i fuck, yeah, with, yeah, I fuck yeah. with wood heavy but yeah. uh to, to to finish what i was saying though about the the boys and the, and the dad so like, you know how like little boys like to rough house with each other and mm-hmm. it's super healthy and the dads are trying to put a kibosh on that shit right away, but they're not doing it as if they're like going over there and directly doing it with the boys. It's like they're kind of like if I was trying to impress Shane and like you were doing something fucked up, I'm like Matt, calm the fuck down. Oh, the look at you know, them. Oh, and it's like yeah. they're not. You're ah, not doing that for your kid because you're. That's bad what you're doing ew. for your kid, and you're teaching him to like acquiesce to strangers for no reason at all. It, ew, because they dude, kids pick up. Kids are really perceptive too. Yes. Ew. Very perceptive, and and you know I I think um you know because I was I was a super perceptive kid and I I grew up with a mom who was like on drugs and shit mm. so you you're hyper aware of the fact that you're hyper aware yeah Did, you know what I mean because yeah, there's yeah. more stuff to be aware of so like one of the things as a parent I was always making sure I never convinced myself that the kid doesn't understand what's going on because they have to they need to like little babies are more tuned in to like social cues than us. Because that's their only method of communication and survival at the time. Oh, yeah. So they're learning. They're picking up really quickly, like happy face, angry face, like yeah. You know, don't call him as being a pussy call, yeah. to that e- lady. Exactly. Ew, dude. Exactly. Ew. So they're the guys, just like boys. Boy, boy, boys won't be boys. Excuse me. Uh, yeah. I'm yeah, yeah, yeah. Immediately break this up. Excuse me, lady. Uh, not lady. Uh, my, my, uh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> God, that sucks. And and I don't, so I can't say anything. Do you ever offer a, them like weed edibles? Like, yo, you want a weed edible? See if they're cool. <laughs> I feel like they're too mellow. They need something. They give them some Coke. Guys like, just make yeah, the yeah. fuck up. Give them some, some booze. Coke. Yeah. Give them some booze. Yeah. Yes. Loose, yeah, but those yeah. little, the, the dorks, they freak out when they booze. Because then they have to confront that level of like. Oh, yeah. That like, oh, also, oh, I'm I mean, mad. I dude, shouldn't be mad. Like, yeah. Yeah. Also, like, dude, if you drink. take this back to historical context, and it's like, you're in a, you know, you're in a tribe. Um, everyone's like the dudes are going out doing their thing and then one guy's like ah, I'm gonna chill back I'm gonna hang with the chicks and watch the kids everyone's like dude no you're fucking not yeah. come on get out here yeah like no 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 no. Cause get like, some ah. grass stains with the rest of us <laughs> pussy well, no yeah. not even that it's like you could just start fucking everybody's I mean you could Whoa. whoever's wife would fuck around you could enter yourself as an eligible well, person I mean, to start that 100% like women they, they kind of like uh, they gain attraction by proximity yeah like, like, I can, if you describe a hot enough chick to me, like, I'd fall in love with her right now. Right? <laughs> yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? Like, you can't, you can't really do that for a woman. Like, a woman has to be around a guy, like, being nice. Yeah. You, you know what I mean? And th- this guy gets to hang around these women outside of the, uh, the, the, the social structure of men. So he gets to act like he's something completely different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which yeah. is something they would never want. That's, that's a work husband. Yeah. There, yeah. Yes, dude. Well, there's there's Native American folklore talking about. There's like apparently the tricky coyote, and like it'll be a dude who'll stick his dick in like a strawberry patch, and like trick women. It's kind of I think they're talking about this. There's dudes out here tricking. Yeah, it's a popcorn movie trick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. doing it back then. Yeah, one hundred percent. Sick to wait in a bush back then, like you didn't have like food or anything ready, but you're like, I'm gonna put my <laughs> dick in this bush. Someone's gonna touch Damn. it. Dude. They must have done some just the craziest shit on oh earth. My if God, they, like no, like just there was no rules. I mean, there were, but that well, that's how the rules developed. <laughs> yeah, the rules developed. Yeah. Like, all right, you yeah. can't put your dick as a strawberry. You can't do that. Yeah, the the first hundred rules are all genital related. <laughs> <laughs> just, <laughs> there's dick tricks. A lot of dude. them were, yeah. Yeah, yeah there's I mean, dick tricks. I don't like. I don't. I don't know if I have it anymore because I like I, I scrap all my material. I'm starting over, but I had this joke about like early on, like men were probably fucking the dirt. Mm-hmm. Just like fucking the dirt, the For fuckable, sure. fuckable dirt. Men still are. It still happens, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, men are fucking, every, I, I know like 10 guys that have fucked a couch. Yeah, I can yeah. say for sure, like the first time I was on the beach, I kind of like 
was seeing what was good with the sand. I remember you know what I mean? in the sand and be like, okay. It's like, why not? All right. Why not? If you get the sand in the right direction, it's kind of smooth. Really? Yeah, it can be. You feel you feel the sand? Yeah, you kind of got to got to got to bore it. You got to yeah. bore it. You watch <laughs> you out gotta, for those seashells yeah. though, boy. Never Woo. fuck the sand. Yeah, you got to I didn't fuck it. I just kind of like you got to dry hump it. Yeah, when I was little. When I was well, little, I used to, if I out, laid on something, dick out or no, 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 no. Yeah, in your bathing suit, that might feel good. But it was just the surface. I was like cuz like sand is like you can kind of it's kind of malleable. You can like move it around real quickly and shape it. So I was kind of like I remember just like digging out a little bit and getting like a little bird hump and being like, "All right, man, I got a little foxhole for my bird." Remember being little bit. What's great is some dude like probably came by later like some some nature expert was like, this is probably like a sea turtle." A baby sea turtle came out right into some kid's dick imprint in the sand. I don't know what kind of animal made this <laughs> just me looking up at my mom mom stop i'm like i'm not doing anything mom that's too fucking funny hell yeah dude what else is cracking what are you what are you doing jujitsu bro just out there you know just choking grinding. people just yeah just fun, choking man. people it's fun i really i really want uh, matt to get back into it and you to get into it no nah, i'm not doing that i'm all yoga right it's now hot. dude yeah i'm all yoga sick Nice. Stretching I didn't even out. know you were doing that. Yeah. I just like going... I just like sweating profusely. Yeah, do I want I don't care Matt's what house. I'm doing. If you can get me to sweat that much, it's like the best feeling in the world. He's getting jacked from yoga. I went <laughs> yeah, to his house yeah, the other yeah. day. He was in a tank top. Yeah. Just got some <laughs> yoga, dude. No, it's no big deal. Had those yoga muscles flaring. Ooh. It's no big deal. I only went twice. <laughs> oh, you went twice? Yeah, I went <laughs> it was twice. Yeah, one yeah, of the yeah. days I, I went will say... Yeah. Yeah, pretty much was. <laughs> <laughs> you get like... They come around afterwards and like give you like a little like massage and stuff. It's kind of nice. Oh, man. Like okay. when you're done, they'll get like... You'll get like awesome. a... It's funny too. Like you raise your hand saying like, I, I don't want to be touched. If like if you want... If they're like... As they go around and will like adjust you... Some lady like fully had my butt, and I was I like she had you by the haunches. Had me at the haunches, dude. And I'm doing like a full like I forget what it's even called, but like it's basically like when you stretch out your hip flexors for football, but you're like your one leg's all the way forward and your knees bent, and you're just like kind of like stretching out. Yeah. She like grabbed she grabbed my ass, and I was like, God, my ass is so fucking wide and powerful. <laughs> <laughs> and like the whole time she's grabbing me in my head, it's like. She's probably fucking loving this, right? And I'm like, so her it. chakras. I just, bang, 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 there's bang, a part bang. of me. Yeah, there's a part of my brain that's just like, oh, dude, she's fucking loving this. Oh, my fucking, chakras my butt, up. dude, is fucking so wide and strong. I'm gonna get real into the stretch right here. <laughs> so, really? yeah, that's definitely going on. Yeah, she level. knows it too. That's why she did it. Oh, His sure. form is terrible. Let me touch. Oh, right. he's, yeah. I'm, meanwhile, like, I'm all like twisted up, like. Yes, yeah, the form <laughs> correction button. I'm like, dude, she saw me, dude. She knows. I'm like, I'm not like these other guys in here, dude. I'm just something about me. Damn, the, yeah, the yoga stuff gets a little weird to me, dude. Then there's come. like a lot of fucking like sexuality involved. Oh, and big it's time, like... dude, big time. Suck your tummies in. I love when they say suck your tummies in, and I suck my stomach in. And I'm just like looking at them, like, do you see how hard I sucked my tummy in for you? <laughs> Jesus yeah. Christ! I, I I've learned something really interesting. So after doing jujitsu and watching women in you know like sports bras, like tiny shorts, grappling each other, I that Go does on. nothing. That does seriously. It does nothing yeah, for them when yeah. they're trying to kill each other. But like anytime women are in unison or cooperating, it's sexy as fuck. Dude, just any any wow. Sid's black, by the way. Yeah, Sydney so, is black. So let me let me I give you the, let me give you the science. I'm gonna give you the science. I'm gonna give you the science, right? No, I'm saying he's allowed to be sexist. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I'm just yeah. saying. No, no. So like, you know, when women are all doing the same, like wearing wearing tiny clothes, sure. like walking sporadically or like being catty to each other. Nothing. Yeah. But if they're wearing tiny clothes, all doing the same moves at the same time, it's just like, oh my god, this is kind of nice. Talking about cheerleading, bro. That's nice. <laughs> cheerleading's nice, right? That's why college, you... collegiate, collegiate yeah. cheerleading is nice. Yeah, so, for sure. That <laughs> that's a good point because yeah. it was cheerleading for some reason is like it's one of those things like cheerleader. Yeah. Ugh. Oh, dude. You kind of pre come whenever you I say was... cheerleader, you're like, Ugh. but here, here's the deal: when yeah. they're not doing their routines and they're just like hanging out, still being hot, you're not looking at the cheerleaders. It's like as soon as they start cooperating, you're like, "Fuck yeah, that's sexy." Wow. When they move as a force, yeah. it's so, yeah, it's kind of nice. So here's the here's the deeper side. So like again, <laughs> you watch you watch people grapple all the time, nothing, and then you have um, like you can just YouTube women flow drilling to that like yeah. together, like drilling. They're not trying to hurt each other. They're just working on moves mm-hmm. together, dude. It's so fucking erotic. Really? It's yeah. ridiculous. Well, what do you ever have to you wrestle? Do you ever wrestle? Uh... Like women in the jujitsu all train. the time. Is there any even like I wouldn't I wouldn't get like hard for that. My brain the whole time is like pervert, pervert, pervert. What are you doing, pervert? Yeah. So too I, soft. I pervert. don't. I don't. <laughs> I don't grapple new. Like like my like my like Ansley, my wife. She's like super strong. Like people yeah. will always comment on her strength. So 
people say all the time, like guys. Say, they come, say, like, God damn, that bitch is sturdy. <laughs> Dude, so I, I walk into rooms with people talking about her and how strong she is. And I walked into a room and this guy was saying. You fight them? I have her fight him. <laughs> like, <dude. laughs> like I walked into a room. This guy was saying he was like, "Have you ever rolled with Ansley?" Like his back was to me. He said, "Have you ever rolled with Ansley?" And the guy was like, "Yeah." And he was like, "Dog, she's like man strong. Like normally when I roll with a woman, I can like go half and half, but like I gotta try to kill this bitch." <laughs> See, this <laughs> is like, I don't like the rolling with women. I don't like that. Yeah, you don't. Men and women shouldn't be doing jujitsu against wrestling? each other. Yeah. yeah what are your thoughts? Me. Uh, again, I only I only roll with the type of women that have the skill to kill me, so I'm okay with it because I'm I'm trying to survive the whole entire time. Yeah, but I have a friend that was at a gym in Pittsburgh, and she was said she was rolling with somebody, and they they clearly had a boner. Uh, yes, that's just well, like you got to you got to tap. <laughs> yeah, you gotta tap. You better hurry up and tap. <laughs> you better tap. Yeah, that's that's definitely you get away from that. You, you think that's that how point, you get out of a rape? Get a boner. Tap? You can? Do you think you can tap out? <sighs> no. You think if like tried. a rapist is like into jujitsu, he's like, all right. You think he'd respect he pops the tap? Up. Yeah. I don't know. Is there how many rapist jujitsuers are there? <laughs> they get discovered pretty quickly. I think jujitsu is a form <laughs> of jujitsu is a form a rapist, of discovering. Being into jujitsu, getting into jujitsu would be be pretty crucial. It's a little bit yeah. of overkill in terms of skill. <laughs> it's like you know. I mean, I think it's like the exact skill you need. <laughs> yeah, <exactly. laughs> yeah. I mean, it is. It's also for women the exact skill you need to not get raped. Oh yeah, every every woman should have some jujitsu skill. Yeah, every woman should. Have you ever watched uh, Evolved Wrestling? Evolved Wrestling. Yeah, that might change your mind on like the lack of sexuality in wrestling between co-ed. Did you ever watch that shit? Yeah, I get into watching. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's pretty wild. Yeah, like is this too much? You're talking about your ultimate surrender. Yeah, but it's similar. It's similar. Yeah. Now it's it's like they evolved as co-ed now. Ultimate Surrender was mainly lesbians, Just lesbians. wrestling each other. Or by curious chicks wrestling. Oh, other by I, curious watched, chicks. Uh, I watched. Now, the now they do co-ed wrestling, wrestling, and dudes wrestle chicks and then like grab their pussies and shit. Well, see, I'll, I'll say this: like, wh- like as far as when women do something specifically to be sexy, in me, like they're bad at a thousand. I don't care what it is. Like if if the context is like I'm doing this to be sexy, I'm like, oh, okay, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm into horny. it. Yeah, I'm horny for it. I'll, let's see where this goes. Fair enough. You know. So <laughs> then you're like drive by and like, but later. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. What you say? You watch Step Brothers? Yeah, uh, yeah, Step Brother and Step Sister wrestling over the remote. Oh, I played the movie. That ended. Oh, you watched a film of them wrestling over. They the were remote. wrestling over. They're like, turn the channel. Oh, like, then they started wrestling. And, oh, oh, tit popped out. Did you like that? <laughs> Did I like that? Uh oh. And they have to sit with their feelings. Wait, was then, that their inner dialogues, or were they saying that no, to each other? And she was holding him down. Put, yeah. Put her fucking pussy on his face. Whew, watch out. Whoa! Yeah, I, I fucking crumbed. That's a good one. Yeah, that was a that quick is, crumb, dude. That was be. I mean, I. That's like a sultan right there. Yeah, I get so every once in a while I pre <laughs> pre jack in a porn. Fucking pre jack. Too hot. Oh yeah. god. Yeah, before they even started fogging. Yeah, I was already in cleanup mode, thinking to myself, "Good lord, <laughs> what the fuck am I watching?" <laughs> that's fucking nuts. Oh man. But yeah, I mean, it all started from the interaction grid, dude. Yeah, I've never fully. Yeah, but that, that's that's been my whole thing now. So it's like, I just go through all my interactions, and I, I just like I try to just think of them in a way it, only if they're bothering me in some yeah, sort of yeah, way. Because yeah. usually it'll people will just make that their automatic thing, and if you you get, people can break out of those little molds, it's like it's just a ripple effect where then it starts rippling out to all your other ones. Yeah, I had one in high school where me and this dude would only do gay jokes to each other. Dude, that happens a lot at work. Where like, something happens and they try to lock you in. It. Hey, dude, uh, fucking remember Fruit Punch? And you're like, dude, I don't. Yeah, 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 yeah. So you guys only did gay stuff forever. And then you guys <laughs> yeah, fucked. And then I was finally. <laughs> you guys <laughs> argued over the remote and fucked. Yeah, he put his dick in my face. And I was like, whoa, 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 what's this? Oh, how do I feel about this? <laughs> yeah, man. It was so a confusing you, time. How'd you break out of it? You just never saw him again? Uh, I stopped talking to him. <laughs> I was like, all right, I'm pretty sure he's gay. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, it's, it's, but it was funny as I was talking to the lady. I'm like sitting there. Talking to the cashier. He was probably trying to hit on me. Yeah, he probably and I was, was just like, this is a funny bit. Let's, let's keep this up. <laughs> and finally, I was Goose, like, oh, I goosed you back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, I, so I was you're talking to the cashier. Talking to the cashier, and I was like, damn, how do strangers fit in this equation? Because like, I interact with a lot of strangers. So I was like, talking to them. I'm like, just like, I wasn't even shooting up small talk, but I'm standing there, and I'm like, well, I don't want to like stand over here while she makes this. So I'm like, I'll just browse some of this merchandise. So I'm like, yeah. looking at stuff, I'm like, I don't want any of this stuff. So I remember, like, oh, my phone. You can just pull your phone out and just stare at it until, like, you know, you're done to avoid all the weirdness. 
So I, I'm watching something and I ended up like watching it for way too long and my <laughs> stuff's already done. I go up, I'm like, oh, nice. Uh, uh, th- I paid for it and she was like, did you want a receipt? I thought she said Bon Appetit. And I was like, <laughs> oh my god, dude. oh my god! And it's like, it's oh funny. This is like a young black chick oh. I see every day who makes my, uh, who makes the uh, Asia Asaibo, Asia, Asia, whatever Asia. it is. So we always we have like a little bit of banter back and forth, but it is funny to like a young black chick be like, Bon Appetit, sir. What? How did you respond? <laughs> So I was like, when she said Bon Appetit, when I thought she said Bon Appetit, I was like, thank you. You do make the best Asiables. <laughs> she, was like, she goes, huh? And I was like, uh-oh. And she was like, I said you want your receipt. I was like, oh, I thought you said Bon Appetit. <laughs> yeah. And she was like, no, and just started laughing. That was like, situation was so confusing to her. She was like, let me just let him know what the fuck I said yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, before yeah. this goes any further. Yeah, she must have had no idea yeah. what you th- thought she said. No, exactly. It was like... Uh, it was, but in the I walked away and I was like, I would say that was a successful interaction. <laughs> <laughs> Crush it! Yeah. That's a good, yeah, that's yeah. good. You're optimistic. I had, yeah. I had a pretty good interaction. I think you guys uh, would appreciate. I had, uh, <laughs> I had uh, it's just two autists first right? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I'm all right. <laughs> yeah, no, I had some. Uh, I was at the park with my family, and I had these like. Uh, again, I'm not trying to stereotype anybody, but Please these do. teenage black kids trying to smoke a blunt. <laughs> Right next to where we were. Was everyone looking park. at you to go squash it? Well, I, I mean, I, I, as soon as they settled right in my area, I just walked straight over to them to squash <laughs> You're it. Just like, Cause it they, were, they, were, they were ramping up. It, it didn't just... So we got there to the park, and they were already hanging out. Mm. And we were already cramping their style because they had, like, some... It was a, some black boys, some black chicks, and, like, a, two or three fat white chicks that they had there. Sure. You know, they were... Sworn in. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. They were trying to do all the stereotypes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? So we got there. We kind of disrupted that, and it's a tough squad to break up. It, not really, because so young white chicks see parental authority and they start to acquiesce immediately. Really, young black boys see authority and they start ramping up. You yeah, know what I mean? Okay. And so the more they ramp up to parental authority, the more the white girls are like this doesn't feel right. You yeah, know, yeah, but then so, they want to keep their fat whites in check. So when the the whites get disturbed, they're like, "All right, we better chill." So no, a couple like... girls, a couple of the black chicks, noticed the discomfort, and they they peeled off with the two white chicks. Like, let's yeah. just go. Let's over get here. the fuck out of yeah, here. Let's get out of here. So, uh, the the alpha the alpha dickhead was like, "Yo, let's go roll up," and they walked to the dugout, which was away from where we were. It was a baseball field at the park we go to, and they rolled up. And I was like, "As long as they stay in there, we're we're cool." Yeah. They walked back out. To cross where we were on the playground to go to the basketball court, but they all walked through the playground like past me. Uh, like, and Ansley, my wife is just playing with the kids, like jacked as fuck, completely oblivious. Yeah. Like, she doesn't care. Yeah. Like, she just, she she walks around with this mentality is like, I don't care because if it goes down, I'll fuck shit up. Yeah, you know? Yeah. So, me, I'm like always like, is this happening? Is this happening? So, they walk past me. How old were they? I would say like four, 14 to like gotcha. 17, 18. Yeah, yeah. You know? And like I was saying to Ansley, like I, I guarantee you they're not in school and should be, and all of them have learning disabilities. They were like <laughs> those black kids, like with that, like the S posture, but they're always jacked and they don't work out. You know what I'm talking about? Like they got that sway in their back, and they're like fucking ripped. It's like if there's no shirt on, you're like that's normal, it's fine. Yeah, you're it's not just, at yeah, any yeah. point. Like look at this guy with his shirt off. What a dickhead! You're like, no, okay, yeah, he, cool. yeah. He, he was wearing like a, a a tight wife beater, but with the holes cut out even more. What? So he was like wearing no shirt. You know, Shit. and. uh so they go over to the, the basketball court. <laughs> that shit posture. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm talking about now. And uh, they and he, they weren't wearing them, but they in my mind now I still see them with do-rags on, but they weren't wearing them. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So they go light up on the part, and then they come back to the playground and stop right where we are and start smoking. And one of the dudes, he was like a little bit smaller guy. He, he just wasn't feeling right about it. And he was like, let's just go over to the pavilion Maybe eight feet further away yeah. from us, they're sitting on these benches. As soon one as they, of the dads was like, "All right, I'm not." I'm dude, fine. all the other fucking parents, they like got distance enough from the situation so that they couldn't hear or smell what was happening, but left their fucking kids to play. What? Yeah, they they didn't well, they assume any responsibility. Yeah. They all pussied, all pussied out. Like, I guess they would have ran and got their kids if it got them bad. But the it's like smoke got thick. Dude, it's like you're the distance. Whatever. Yeah, I, yeah. Again, like these dudes are pussies. They pussied out. They're yeah. pussies. Also, it's like 
it's not exactly like your Sunday afternoon. You're like break up a two black teenagers smoking a blunt at the park. It's like any like yeah. white dad is like I'm not fucking. Out there. Yeah, they're, they're probably well, just like that's also fair. Yeah, that's you don't also end up on please a let the blunt video. end. Please let the blunt. Oh, end. Oh no, that was definitely a world star video waiting to happen. Although and, you know you still have to be like yo. yo. Also, if you're just like you guys, just fucking kid. take that shit down there. Yeah, you know. Yeah. So so now I'm trying to I'm trying to play the momentum of their uh, their group. So I just had I just saw the little dude convince him. Let's not stand here. This is disrespectful. So as soon as they like as soon as they sat down, I walked over. Yeah. Like I, I needed them to settle in because he was still being a little like he wanted to stay where he was. So as soon as they sat down, I walked over and I said to him, I was like. Y'all got to keep that moving. Yeah. Which I thought was a fair thing to say. I didn't try to be their dad. Yeah. And as soon as I st- said that, they got up and started moving. He went and put the blunt out. And then they walked back to the basketball court. But all, like, they sing, like they all took their turn to walk right by me. and They uh, synced up. Did that get you horny? <laughs> it was it kind of. <laughs> it was kind of. It was kind of. Uh, Just the dudes are coming or all they got back with their babes? No, the the when I when I told them they got to keep that moving, like the girls got up and they just went a different direction. Oh, uh, they didn't oh, get so their they reunified. They didn't yeah. get their fat whites. The black dudes are like sheepdogs for fat white. They got to herd them around. <laughs> yeah, they well they bark at them and nip at them. And that's probably them. why they were upset with me. It was like we, they, we scattered our a, fucking white chicks. Our herds, our herds lost. You know how long it takes to herd these bitches? <laughs> <laughs> True, dude. Uh, they got if you, see, if you see like a fat white chick in the wild, it's like a wild horse, dude. You got to jump and break. Yeah. You got to break them. Yeah. <laughs> Otherwise, they scatter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they go graze. <laughs> They're out grazing. Yeah. And that black dog starts. Uh, black dog. The black, black guy dog. starts barking at him like a sheep dog. Like, come here, Mark. Come here. Come here. Come here. And she hey, starts yo. walking. Yeah. <laughs> so, so black guy. So they just but they can't walk by you. Just yeah, they all walk by me. So it, it, was, it was like I had to, <laughs> I had to stay to stay in my ground. You know what I mean? I had to like square up. And <laughs> kind of like, choice of words. Know, know. All right, so you had to yeah. stand your ground against black teens. Yeah, I did. I did. I did <laughs> not. Not on my <laughs> lawn. <laughs> yeah. Then all the other yeah. parents came back. I'm guessing right afterwards they were like, "Oh wait, look, the blunt smoke's gone." Yeah, I mean, we. I, mean, I, I just I was so annoyed by that point. It was just like, let's just get out of here. I remember my dad doing when I was little. We'd be in a pizza place, and like if people, if young guys were cursing. He'd go over and be like, "You guys keep that down, huh? Yeah, have some respect." And yeah. every, he'd do it like young constantly. white guys. Yeah, I mean, yeah. You don't hit a black guy with that. My, no, I, to be fair, my dad's very. He would drive through Chester, and if he saw a young black kid with his pants down, he'd be like, "Hey, pull your goddamn pants up!" <laughs> yeah. They'd be like, "Fuck you, dude." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my dad was pretty equal with it. Oh, nice. Yeah. Like, hey, put your fucking pants up. You look like a jackass. They'd be like, "Fuck you, man." Nice. Yeah, no, it is. It is That's it is easy ridiculous. from the car, though. Oh, for sure. That's not at the diner. Yeah. That's not in person. Yeah, yeah. that's true. I'm, I'm pretty fucking brave in a car. <laughs> that's true. I'll yell out some some hate. Do you? You've seen it. Well, I mean, yeah, my dad was just trying to... Well, was just I, I know you're not that brave angle. as a passenger in a car. What's that? I know you're not that brave as a passenger in a car. What Why? happened? Well, uh, Shane made me give up a spot to this dickhead. <laughs> so we were, we were coming into Philly. Oh, I don't drive like a cunt. Is, no, no, is no, that what you're no, saying? no, no. We're coming into Philly. <laughs> And there was this parking spot. We were trying to go to an open mm-hmm. mic. And it was a parking spot on a night when it's difficult to get parking spots on Sansom <laughs> Street, right? Oh, God. Beautiful, it's beautiful me parking spot. Right now. <laughs> Even Shane, who can't parallel park, could have parked in this parking spot, right? Uh-huh. So I go to park, and there's this, this guy standing there. He's wearing, like, like brown loafers, tight, skinny jeans, like a, a cool, uh, like, athletic jacket, but for fashion. You know, yeah, yeah. Like, a wealth, like a wealthy white guy. And he's got this look on his face. He's just shaking his head, looking at me like, like nah, uh, yeah, yeah, nah. Uh, and I didn't like the way he was doing that. It was like he was trying yeah. to intimidate. Yeah, there was me a little an old bit. woman in the restaurant, and they were trying to park their car in front of the <laughs> restaurant. Shit? You see this so shit? that the elderly did not woman know that. could get in the car. We did not we know, did that. know that. We once did. he said it, and when he said it, I was like, okay. When he said it, I you said sure? okay. But I didn't want. I wanted yeah, him to. Went, I wanted, nah, but nah. I wanted him to like because he was such a dick about it. He was looking. I wanted him to sweat a little. And he was going like, no, absolutely not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And then, so that's then I, one way to look at it. Or he was just like, "You can't park here." He wasn't Shane, saying no, absolutely okay, not. Okay, he was Shane, just there like, you tell me, hey, did, was he saying it in a peaceful way, or was he being I don't, intimidated? I do not recall. Do he that recalls? Was, uh, he recalls. I do not He's, recall. He admitted it in the car. So I do not recall. I did he, not admit anything. He was belligerent. <laughs> so was yeah, he was just being a dick. And so I was about to How park old was there. The lady? Well, we didn't. Did we see? We didn't get to see. We didn't get to see because we ended up okay, right? And so it wasn't. He was like, "Hey, guys." Uh, my mom's in there. Do you mind not parking here? That's not what happened. Where was the car? Right. He was trying. Listen, he was trying to bully us. 
And then, uh, so I started parking there, and then he's he's screaming. Was he he's really? screaming about it, <laughs> like about his mom. Come, and it wasn't his mom wasn't in the restaurant. They were they took the car around the block, and they were oh, coming back right, around. Right, and they were going right. to park the car yeah. so that she can have an easy walk yeah. to the restaurant. And he's like he's like he's like screaming this shit. And I mean, then, dude, if you come back and spot's gone, <laughs> you're in trouble. Well, he's he's lucky. He's lucky because the fact that we took so long and like held that that area, having that yeah, back the car and forth, actually did show up. It, the car had time to show up and get that spot. Oh, so right? I'm sitting on passenger side. It's on the right side. He's in my window. Going, I've been that dude. dude in a spot the before. fight's going over. I'm top in of between the Sid oh, and this guy God. yelling at each other. I'm new to the city. <laughs> yeah. I'm new to the city. This is first year. Oh my I'm God. months into living in the city <laughs> where I'm just like, how are people? acting like this how the fuck are people acting like this and, like, and it's like, oh. like Sid's like no point, way this motherfucker's gonna get the best of us and I'm like, he's, he's not getting the best of us he's like why us he's like why us he's not getting the best of us and then Shane's We're like I, I think you just give him the spot dude it was like give him the, the fucking spot here's the funniest part about it because Shane's a giant right Shane's mm-hmm. a giant so like I'm looking over and he's in, he didn't put his seat back but he's like shrinking in the seat. He's just like so small. I wanted out like, of that situation. Dude, at one point, it's like I'm looking like past him. I don't even see Shane. I just only see the dude. dude. Yeah, it was crazy. Imagine you're in the car, and <laughs> just a black autistic dude, and, <laughs> and some guy that's like, could, could you please, could, could you guys kindly move your car? My elderly mother is trying to walk into this restaurant. He's like, you're not taking advantage of me. You think you can bully us? And I'm like, you can bully yeah. me. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny because I get into this with Brittany a lot it will be like a car will stop and I'm like alright someone will stop the car in the middle of the street I'm like I'm gonna I give it like two minutes I, or like a minute I'll wait Brittany will reach across from me and be like Meh! and I honk my horn and an old lady comes hobbling out and everyone just looks at me and I'm like yeah I do have very low tolerance for that yeah well, Brittany, parked car in the street. I'm well. Here's, but yeah, exactly. But like, I'll like, I'll that. chill a minute. That's tough. But Brittany's like, "Fuck this! Why would you wait? This is annoying." And I'm like, "Yeah, but like, I'm a white dude. If there's like an old black lady coming out of a house, and I'm like, me, me, <laughs> yeah. it yeah. looks yeah. bad. Yeah. So she'll, she'll reach. She'll, I've told her I banned her from the space of my horn. I'm like, you cannot. I'm driving, therefore I operate the horn. You are yeah. not allowed to operate the horn. That's yeah. a good move. But I will say, is when she when I'm in the passenger seat and she's driving a car stop, she's like. I'm just sitting there like, well, that's what you get. You're in the street. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The same thing, the same thing at right. Walmart. She's yeah. right. The same that's thing right. at Walmart, dude. When we when I'm like, I'm following behind her. She's like, excuse me, excuse me, move. I'm like, excuse me. See, like that's an the, old that's, Asian lady. That's the thing about that person in the relationship. Because I'm, I'm clearly the Britney in my relationship. Like, yeah. like anytime oh, something yeah. like that happens, like, well, not just because I'm black. <laughs> but, but like, yeah, and, and again, I'm not saying Britney's autistic, but anytime something oh. like happens, like the first thing Anthony does, she, <laughs> she, looks at, she looks at me and goes, please don't be autistic right now. <laughs> right? <laughs> or, or if we're in like a, a, a merchandise situation where she's trying to get like a lower price on something where the prices were a little confusing, she's like, Come over and do that autistic thing you do. Yeah, use your power. Oh, yeah. yeah so dude. it's you know that's actually kind of nice. Yeah, Brittany, will, she'll get like she gets real hung up on customer service. So like she'll scold. Like you know you had a bit about being scared of the young black cashiers at Target. Yeah. yeah. So like they're, they're kind of intimidating. <sighs> yeah. Brittany will go up to them and be like, like if, if they just start ringing up her stuff, she's like, my day's going pretty well. How about yours? And she'll start like antagonizing them like that. Yeah. yeah. And like like teaching them customer service, and I did, I'll just sit there like, "Hey guys, what's going on? What's yeah, happening? Yeah, yeah. What's going on?" <laughs> it's like, I do when I see them like typing on their phone when I walk up to the yeah. cash. Like I just like I'm hoping that the interaction goes well enough for them to say something nice about me to <laughs> yeah. or like post in. Like I just yeah. hopefully they're like, not fighting. Yeah, this guy just came up and checked out. He's pretty cool. Yeah, dope as shit. He had this white son. <laughs> just yeah, like, white ass son. Yeah, I'm just yeah, I'm just trying not to have them. Like flip on me, yeah. Well, that's, you know what I mean. That's something me and Brittany fight about a lot. Where she'll she will perceive in her like day to day interactions, the big a big trigger for her is perceived disrespect. Where I'll be like, look, you're in your work environment, you gotta chill out, just like learn how let people do their weird shit and it's fault. But she's like, as soon as I feel like someone's disrespecting me, I fucking flip. So it's like fair enough. But then yeah. it will my that's my point. She's where, like a good fella. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, spider. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. But my point is, I'll do the opposite, where I'll just let things happen, 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 happen and that's a whole yeah. different problem. But I, don't, I'm, I don't know if that's a problem because it's like if someone disrespects you, like whatever, not even dis- not disrespect, but just like and this is my whole point of the inter- uh, interaction 
grid as you just like slowly you put up with stuff at a, like an incremental level to where next thing you know, you know, you're married at 26, you're living in New Jersey. All this happened through like very little like uh, concessions. Yeah, it's tough though. Like I, I, I get through that. I do that a lot in stand up. Like forever, I would just put up with anything. Yeah. I'd be like, yeah, sure. I'll do it. I'll do it for fucking a hundred bucks. Yeah. I'll do it. Like I'll do that. And then once you start standing up for yourself, it get it. People do hate you. Yeah. It's, yeah. That's true. Like too. people are Tell me like he's it. a fucking asshole, and it's like, nah. I'm well, you're not. you're interacting the flow of all that interaction. Yeah. It's like there's been this clear pattern. And as soon as you break it, it disrupts the whole grid, and then you just yeah. like form back around you, and whatever you lose and shake off. It's like, Psh. yeah. It's it's weird because you, there is a way that people want to like treat you as you are uh, to them. That you kind of have to let them have, like you can, you know, you can't, you can't fight every battle of every yeah. person's perception about you. So you just like let them have that. Because like for me, I feel like a lot of people, like I come off as like an authority figure, as like overly intense, or as uh, <laughs> you, you know, this is my fucking spy, you bitch. The fuck? First of all, but that's the thing. I'm fa- yeah, when I, when I, I get in those situations with the people, like so, the reason why I come off as autistic in those situations is because I don't escalate. If also like they, if someone like, if someone approaches me being like no no absolutely no I flip out. Well, if that's I'm how the ma- story is presented, to you. <laughs> yeah, sure, yeah. yeah. Or if someone's like, dude, Shane is completely covered. Like, dude, he it hit was, you with the white. He hit you with the white guy. Fucking we. Just that. Like, what do you look like? Let me see. Shades well, on, as, sunglasses. Listen, I'm, I'm gonna tell you this. When this we, is three, when we, when we were three pulling, years ago. When we were, when we were pulling off, <laughs> yeah. The first thing Shane said was, "Sorry, I was a bitch in that situation." Now. In hindsight, do you think maybe I was trying to appease a autistic man who just got in a fight? <laughs> do you think maybe I was just like, this is meaningless. I'll just say this to him. Did you feel like I was hostile afterwards? Did you feel like I was like no, upset? Never exactly. Afterwards. Exactly. Yeah. So we we were right back to normal for sure. And you like, were back to normal. <laughs> you were back. No, that's, yo, an autistic you're right. episode. You're right. I was sitting no, there he like, wasn't. what he the was. fuck was, it was that? Because like, for me, it's like, okay, now we're back to normal and I can start making fun of Shane. But he was still like fucking rattled by it. I remember seeing old So it was like, I had to wait for like woman. two days before I could bring that back <laughs> you up again. You guys drove together every day. Yes. Yeah. I remember seeing an old <laughs> woman with a cane. <laughs> I'd be like, he wasn't lying. Yeah, no, he wasn't Just lying. Stop. He wasn't lying. He definitely wasn't lying. It happens. Yeah, I, was, I mean, I was okay. I just, dude, I, you know, yeah. I wasn't. I wasn't. <laughs> nothing changed. Yeah, no, it was fun. It was fun. It was a fun. It was just a funny situation to see. Because uh, it was like I just felt like that would have been exactly the dude Shane would have been bullying in a comedy show. He was such in a, a dick. comedy show, a million percent. Yo, I'm always on stage, dog. Well, it's time to go. <laughs> it's time to go. It's something you gotta work on. <laughs> <laughs> it's my. Uh, was it my interaction grid? Yes, you're in yeah. you know, that's the strange stranger interactions are a whole separate grid that's coming at you at random. You can't really help that. But then as you, you they slowly kind of amass into your little like center of gravity, that's kind of like your everyday interaction. If you interact with a stranger enough, that becomes part of the interaction grid. Yeah. Like the I, lady at who I, makes my acai, acai bowls. I have a hard yeah. I have a hard time accepting like the uh the stranger etiquette, I think. Or we have to act like we don't know we're both people right now. You know, like I was at the I was at a cupcake shop and I'm getting my cupcakes and this person comes in. Oh, oh by the yeah. way, said the kid murders sweet treats, <laughs> yeah, crushes dude. sweet treats. Are you still crushing kryptonite. sweet treats? I'm not as much. I'm trying to uh, I'm trying to compete in jujitsu. Yeah, so yeah, I'm trying yeah. To, like, get Did down to doing jujitsu uh, enable a hard period of sweet treat indulgement because you were burning so many cows. Sort of. Like, that I'm, happens to me hard, dude. If I do anything physical, I like definitely treat myself for like, yeah. like a hard. Yeah, I have a hard yeah, treat yeah. myself period. So like I'm, I'll, I'll I'll scale it down, and then see what weight I can be at that amount of eating sweet treats. Nice. And so like right now, I wake up at one seventy five. How many cupcakes do you weigh? <laughs> 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 yeah, uh, it's probably a lot of cupcakes. Probably like four hundred cupcakes. Nice. Like four hundred cupcakes. But um, so where are you at on sweet treats right now? I mean, What's so your habit? I, I can have, so you know those big cookies from Whole Foods? Yeah. I can like half a day, but I don't eat more than three days. So I like a half, a whole cookie in two days. <laughs> you have half of a yeah. huge cookie. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. have half of a huge cookie and call it half of a cookie. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's, like, it's like four cookies. Yeah, it's like a pancake. Yeah. Didn't you say you used to eat like sheet cakes? Yeah, I used like to eat, I used to like fucking sheet bang out sheet cakes You'd in a day. go to a bakery that's and eat ba- a fucking cake That was back when, 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 when I was, me and you were rolling pretty heavy. It was yeah, back yeah. when I was doing P90X, remember? Yeah, that's a sheet cake a day. Yeah, it was a sheet cake a day. 
you order a peanut, peanut nigga. You, you, you can eat a lot on peanut nigga. Like you, had, you had it underneath you, do push up, go down, <laughs> play, like, push up. <laughs> Dude, if you actually do peanut nigga, I got peanut nigga and just laid on the ground. Yeah. Just watch the video. I laid, I remember, I like went down for an event or really? one of the exercises and I was just like, Fuck this! Just laid there, watched it. I was like, these people are fucking gay. I did the insanity yeah. workout for like two weeks, and every time halfway through, I'd be convinced I was having a heart attack and stop it, and run into my living room. Like, I'm good for the day. Yeah, it was like each each like week we would try to figure out what of P and X we could skip. Well, that's a good business model to get like an insane. All you do is be like. All right, do a thousand push ups and you just do videos of elite at like elite yeah. physical trainers doing a hard physical regiment and sell it to people and everyone tries to do it and it's like, I'm cool on that. Yeah. yeah. Or they like, do no it. Shit. And they're like, Wow, I lost weight. And it's like, Yeah, because you just did like a marine boot camp training yeah. that yeah. you were not ready for and had no business of doing. And I remember, that, yeah, when I was going to West Point, people would say that. They'd be like, It's gonna it's gonna instill some discipline in you. It'll be good. And I'm like, Yeah, all right, why don't you wake up at five and run seven miles? Yeah. It's literally. gonna help you out. Yeah. No shit, dude. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, yeah, okay, then you can do it. <laughs> Go do There's it. There's nothing stopping you. I'm walking around. That's what we're doing at West Point. Go walk 12 miles this morning. <laughs> Anyone can do it. It's good for you, dude. People are like, you had a great opportunity. He's like, you have an opportunity. Oh, yeah, people, yeah. people yeah. giving you run. shit afterwards? People right now. Yeah, people were giving me shit during. You were like, people, like, as soon as I was like, I'm fucking quitting, they were like, you wasted someone's spot. Somebody could be here right now. I'm like, well, they should have been better than me. Yeah, the U.S. Yeah. They yeah. couldn't yeah. get in. Yeah, exactly. And the, they if had the US, their opportunity. If the U.S. loses one killing machine, it's like, it'll be all right. One elite killing machine. <laughs> yeah, I would have been a dude, Yeah. <laughs> yeah that was, There's some uh, security guard out there right now that's like, oh, I could have been at West Point. <laughs> yeah, that's that's the same thing. Like, again, I remember somebody was like, damn, that would have been great. I'm like, you can do it. Yeah. Go fucking yeah. wait. Set your alarm for 430. There's a cr- <laughs> wake up, jog five miles. Yeah, do it every day. Dude. There's a recruitment office You'll be right a cadet. There. Yeah, it is, that's a funny thing to put on someone else. Yeah, oh, yeah. People love doing that. Yeah, yeah I did. You had it. You could have yeah. been that. You could have been You could have been, been that. I mean, I think about it with football a lot. Yeah, I mean. What? I could have been pretty good. Do you, do oh, you find it hard to go back to your hometown because of that sometimes? No, not at all. Yeah. It was not, like, that, not for that reason. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. People throwing Smother. fruit at you. Oh, yeah. Quitter. Soldier. No, no, no. Now I'm happy to go back. Yeah, now true. Like, up, what are you guys man? up to? That's pretty tight. Uh, yeah. No, it's no. I have no shame in quitting football or West Point. Yeah. I don't care at all. Yeah. No one. I mean, well, unless you're going to go pro, it's like all you can be is a slightly like wow. He played at a slightly better college. Oh, I know. I mean, I it's like I have friends that sacrificed their fucking entire bodies to be like, yeah, I played at Elon. Yeah. Yeah. That's, That's what I'm ridiculous. saying. Unless yeah. you go pro, it get be like, why well, could have been a bigger. I could have been in like had a better college football. Not just saying it's like a college football story, but like yeah, it would have been slightly more impressive to. Tell I would have had more it. pride in myself, you know. Or if would, I would have or stuck be with more it. deeply frustrated if you gave your body to a thing that you just can't do in the later part of your life. Maybe. That, Unless you became yeah. like a football coach, you would have been like a, I got lucky. You would have been, 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 ra- been enmeshed in a college scandal right now for like abusing. I wanted to be a football coach. That would have been something I would have done. That might have ended yeah. really badly, though. Probably. I mean, that could have been like... It all ends badly, dude. The whole thing. <laughs> yeah, I don't really, think stand-up's going to really, end for me. You're like, you're, yeah, you're, no, but that's something you can do like, later in life. Sure. And yeah, had, there's a couple, like, there, a couple there, comeback there, tours. I feel like <laughs> yeah, there, yeah. there may be more of a outlet built into it, but like football is very win-lose, win-lose. Actually, stand-up might be worse for you because like you don't even think you win when you won. Stand-up is, if I lose, I'm like, I am the biggest but Sometimes loser. you think you lost and you did it. Of course. So it is going to be worse. But I'm seeing a bunch of kids like, like, all right, now drink your Gatorades, get out there, and they're just swallowing longers. And you're like, hey, you fucking motherfuckers. <laughs> yeah. You fucking lost last Saturday. You, <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> just, you fucking losers. You made me look bad. You listen to what I say. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I, I I, there's a co- You'd have been very intense if you became nah, just. I would have been. Became just yeah, I don't think so. I've been a player's coach. Yeah, bro. you don't you change. Think so? Yeah. You, yeah. you stay you. True. And, and, I mean, and all I, of your realities you go to, you're a version of you. I, but I was really into business. So, like, if I stayed into business, yeah, but I, you, you stay. You were into business the way now you're into mushrooms. Like, it was exactly. the same guy. Like, I was into football the way I'm into stand up now. Which same is, attitude. Yeah, everything. but I feel like what you get into can definitely, like, morph your output. Like, I was into business and I was like, I would have gotten wrapped up in, like, a Bernie Madoff type thing. <laughs> like, I would have gone to jail for white Yeah, I, anyway, I, I, I see to that. Patreon. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think you're doing right now? Yeah. Business, baby. <laughs> yeah. You know it, dude. Yeah, man. Don't blow my cover, dude. <laughs> yeah. I'm I'm a staunch businessman posing, dude, as a podcaster, entertainer, philosopher. 
it's all it's all about business. Always been it's always about been business, business, dude. It's all about your business. Back when I was trying to list people's houses and crying in my Ford Contour there when it go. didn't go my way, dude. Come on now. You've yeah. been the most honorable businessman I've ever known. Thank you. Yeah, it's all I care from about. from day one. From day it's one, all I care about, dude. I in my head now. I'm just like, a, I just have a bunch of weird. Uh, I've I've I'm gonna brag, but I've gotten out of the muck that is wage slavery. Mm. So now I'm just a businessman. You're an entrepreneur. Dude. I'm an entrepreneur. Yeah. It's rocky road, dude. It's strange. It is you strange. You get conditioned to be like, I'm supposed to be showing up somewhere every single day at a certain time. And when you take that equation out of your life, you're like, it gets weird and unsettling where you're like, oh, wait, what are we doing today? And you're like, <clears throat> staring at YouTube for six hours. It's not yeah, on man. the docket. And then you do that a couple of days and you're like, the company's headed in the fucking wrong direction. Yeah. Dude. Yeah. Thank <laughs> God I fucking started getting booked. Yeah, it's tough. There was like three years straight of that YouTube six hours thing. Yeah, man. And that's a brutal world. Yeah, I've, if I do, if I like sit, computer or video games give this to me, if I would play video games long enough, I get a feeling that's inside, like the in, my insides feel kind of like fuzzy and filmy. Like if I sit still long enough, I get this feeling inside me that's like, like I, like, you know, you have bad, like your morning mouth. Yeah. I feel like my whole body's comprised of that. If I sit still and oh, do nothing nice. too long, it's weird. <laughs> yeah. It's a bad feeling. Yeah. It'll get you. Yeah. Yeah. I have to move. And that, I, I what you were talking to uh talking about your uh your your gra- or grid your interaction grid yeah and i feel like a lot of people interact with me when they when they're trying to get their life together and like when they talk to me about fitness and shit you're all the taking time you're taking a sensei spot yeah yeah people 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 think that i'm like this serious guy they can go talk to and like have like a like i know these comedians are over here having a good time but i'm going to pull you off to the side and we're going to have a serious conversation uh-huh. and i have a like i have a hard time ending the conversation without knowing where it was about to go. What do you mean? So, like, I get stuck in conversations just because I want to know what the next thing's going to be. Like, what? I'm the opposite. I get stuck in conversations. I'm too much of a pussy to end them. I just never know how to end a conversation, so I'll keep talking and talking and talking and talking. And finally, I'm like, I want to leave so bad. Yeah. As soon as someone shows a sign about to leave, I'm like, yes, thank you for freeing me from this conversation. It's hard to be like, I've had enough now. Thank you. Our conversation's ended. I, I always admire people who could do that. Like, hey... I'm going to have you real quick. But like Someone will come to my house. I'm like, all right, I got out here by 1230. It's like 145. I'm like, I'm a little late. Yeah. I have a hard time just being like, look, we have to stop talking now. I have to leave. I just feel See, weird. I, I can do that when I'm ready. But like, I'll be talking to somebody and like, well, I, like comedians will be having a good time and somebody like peel me off. And I'm like, so I've been doing like 50 push-ups a day for like three weeks now. And I'm looking <laughs> to do such and such. So and it's then, Michelle. Right. And then I'm looking. <laughs> like, or, I was yeah. thinking not, Cobb. Well, it, dude, it's just, I'm looking at this everyone does like, it. They single, they'll single you out and then be like, yeah. "Here's this thing. I want to talk to you about it now." Dude, and it's, and I'm like, I want to leave, but I also want to like. You're clearly not doing 50 push-ups. Like, how <laughs> yeah, are you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, how are you doing those push-ups? <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah, what, yeah. you know what I mean. So now yeah. I'm asking questions in a conversation that I completely don't want to be in. Yeah, you know, and I just kind of get stuck in no situation. How do they usually like, end? I would be going, man, that's crazy. And I just like walk away. <laughs> it's just like oh. I can't say anything anymore. Yeah, it's just like I've, yeah. I've exhausted all my questions. You'll clearly keep talking to me, you know. Like yeah. so, I gotta stop this. I gotta leave. You know? Yeah, yeah. I, some like a lot of times I'll be in a conversation like begging that the person will walk away. Yeah, man. Like, yeah, please I, don't. Say I just walk thing. away. Yeah, yeah. I just, admire that. I'll just be like, all right. I'll be bedeviled by about that for like five minutes of like that. Someone's just standing there, like, what the fuck? I didn't. I wasn't done. I'll, re- I'll walk mid story, just be like yeah. I'm out. Especially if there's like, let's say it's you and me, mm-hmm. and somebody walks up to us and starts talking. Dip. I'll be like, that's, that's good, you too. That's a good. I'm out. That's a good move. Yeah. All the time. That's an easy move. Dude, that's that's a an easy weird route. Weird thing. Skirt out on do. a trio. Well, well, I'm bounce on a group. Yeah. In a second. But it's like if if you if you and uh, like I know you two pretty well. Yeah. If you two are talking and had momentum. I. If I show up, I'm just gonna listen and see if I can catch up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, I feel yeah, like, yeah. I, like I'm gonna laugh. True. Yeah, let me just catch up in this conversation. I that's a thing that if I'm at like some sort of party, usually a party full of people I don't know, and I see people talking, it's like if I if I see like two dudes talking, I always notice myself. I'll just like sit next to my girlfriend, and I'll see like the dudes and girls will separate. So then I have to like get up and like I'm like, do I go walk and talk to the dudes now because now the dudes are talking to each other. Now I'm sitting next to my girlfriend, but I'm only talking to the girls as I'm next to them. I'm like, so I have to walk over and join dudes and be like, hey, guys. Yeah, yeah. And I fuck, man. I hate it's been, that. It's yeah. been years. Fuck do I hate years that. Years since I've done that. Actually, no. It was only like a year and a half. 
I went to a party with my ex, mm-hmm. and it was the last time I've been at a party that I didn't know everyone. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like it was sure, one yeah. of those where it's like, because now it's only comics, yeah, mm-hmm. or family, like friends. I'll go home. Family, do you? It's all. It's mm-hmm. how can we talk about anything else? <laughs> but uh, yeah, it was that. It was like I'm sitting there. I was the I was there with her with my yeah. ex. So it was all her fr- her girlfriends and their like husbands. And it was the worst fucking experience. That like pretty much led to our breakup. <laughs> Did it really? It was one of the main reasons. I was just like, <laughs> I can't be in your world. I feel family. like dudes are pretty. A lot of dudes I come across are pretty bad at being like, if I'm in an area oh, where also I'm pretty. When the guy told me he was an ex NFL player. Oh what? Or he was like, I'm thinking about playing football. I'm thinking about trying out for the Colts. And, and you were like, like, huh? Where'd yeah. you play? He was like five eight. I was like, no, you're not, bro. Yeah. What's he, what position? Was I would still for? be talking to that man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right now, you'd be texting yeah. him and be like, how'd the fucking tryouts go? <laughs> He's like 35 at a fucking house party in mechanics. He was being serious? He was being 100% serious that he was trying to get back into playing football. Was he a pro football player? No. Again, he was like, he was less than six foot. So and he, he was like a white guy that was trying to tell me he played defense event. Where? That's what I said. We he would, we would know school. him. He played if, high school. If he was a that was good it. defensive end as a white guy, we'd know him. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. To be a defensive end as a white guy, you have to be 6'8". Yeah. <laughs> like, you have to be J.J. Watt. That was my downfall. I was yeah. D-end in like Pee Wee League, and I joined high school, and everyone was like 6'3", yeah. 6'4", and I was just like, all right, well, that's not my position anymore. Yeah. That'll do yeah. it. Yeah, dude. But, yeah. So but, you had to tell him, like, no. I No, I fucking, that was back, I was I would sit through it. I've changed, dude. I changed my fucking, uh, my grid. What'd you tell him? I fucking sat through it. I sat through the whole fucking party. So you're just Listen like, to this fucking so you're just guy. like nice, dude. Yeah, you, walking around, Colts, huh? I got trying to fucking make small talk with guys that are like you just don't even want to talk to. Couldn't care less about their lives. Yeah, yeah. And How were they towards uh, you? Were they kind of like kind of shitty? Yeah, I I've noticed that. that. Kind of shitty. A pack of like, like thirty something about our age dudes who are like kind of far, like you don't know. If, if I'm sitting with all my friends and just a random dude pops up, I'm like, what's up, bro? And you, I'm you know, as nice as I can be yeah, to that Because it's awkward as fuck. Yeah. So I'm like, what's yeah. up, dude? You get a group of dudes and they kind of squat up against you. And they're just oh. kind of like, I, and it's just it's weird. It's unacceptable like, behavior. I, it it's really like, is. Guys should always bring the other guys in. That's what I'm saying. It's just like, True. oh, he showed up. Come on over. Yeah. yeah. Well, you know, the what market you will decide what's whether. What's going on? Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah. One of my, speaking of walking up when people talking, my favorite, one of my, I love doing this. Walk up to Chris O'Connor talking to anybody and without asking in like a couple sentences, try to figure out what he's talking about. <laughs> Dude, it's <laughs> fucking hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> he's always saying basically the same thing, no matter what the conversation is. Like he's like, it's fucking absurd. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Dude, I was just like, it's just like, yeah. he could be talking about bagels. He could be talking about Trump. Like, you have no clue. <laughs> yeah. With this man, it's, it's hilarious. He was on yesterday. He was fired up. Oh, yeah, nice. He was fired up. Where are we at, time wise? No, we're good, man. We're an hour, two hours. Here. Let's roll. Oh. oh, you gotta get rolling. You got your show going you up, bro. Show, what time's your show? Seven thirty. Shit, man, let's get out of here. Oh, where's your show? Stress Factory. Okay, I'm fine. It's like yeah. an hour. Sid the kid. Where can people 10. find you? Oh, uh, yeah, you, you know what? Just check out uh, my podcast, Two Jack Bros. Fuck it. Yeah. If you want to hear me and my wife argue about Trump. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hold on. Let me do these gay plugs. Yeah, plug it up, dude. Uh, this is just for August. So August twenty second, I'll be at the Harrisburg Comedy Zone. Uh, the 23rd and 24th of August, DC Draft House. Uh, 28th through 31st of August, I'll be at Cap City in Austin, Texas. Sick. So come to those, or you are gay, dude. Let's yeah. go. Um, well, thanks, yeah, that's it. it. That yeah. was a blast. That two hours flew. Yeah, that was this, awesome. is a, this is a special yeah. announcement. What? I'm going to quit dip for a week. What? No dip starting Tuesday. Tuesday to Tuesday. Hell yeah, dude. No dip, dude. If you make it the whole week, I might have a little surprise for you. Dip. dip reward no 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 dude <laughs> how, more dip how, how often do you quit how often do you, do you no nah, i haven't quit in forever you should start I, last time yeah. i quit i quit for like three months and it was good that was when you were here right yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. And it, went, it was easy I, after yeah. three months i was good and then uh i, was like, at, I can start doing it again no i was it's at like, my friend's house in atlanta and yep he had r.i.p the by the way he died what oh. yeah that guy died yeah 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 shit yeah he died r.i.p bro yeah he, play, he played football with me at elon damn yeah he fucking passed away it was real so that, two Jack uh, Bros, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. but he had dip, and it was that thing where I'm doing nothing all day because I'm doing stand up at night. Yeah. So I'm just yeah. stuck in Atlanta without a car, just sitting there. Like he had a lot of spitters around. Too. He had some dip, monster there. spitters. Not even dip I liked. It was like grizzly fucking. It was shitty, shitty. Dip. Classic cut. Yeah, 
stuff that'll kill you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> she <laughs> is my friend. But uh, <laughs> it's true. Yeah. So I just, you know, threw one in and have been, dude, I've been dipping since I was like 15. Like, it's absolutely going to, I'm going to lose what? my jaw and fucking tongue if I keep doing it. Yeah, stop. And then I'm just going to kill myself. Get into shamanic. Dude, you can't. You can't. You if can't I lose, lose my your, tongue, I'm just going to kill myself. You can't lose your jaw and tongue because then everybody will be like, it's because he said fag. It's like, it's <laughs> not gonna, you can't. You can't. Yeah, you got to For humanity's sake, you can't. I know. Or get into shamanic uh, shamanic tobacco. It's a different species of the plant. You get like a, you hollow out an antler horn and have someone blow it up your nostril every morning. <laughs> okay. Very much. Okay. Very nice. Okay. That's a, that's a I got re- some, uh, what, ha- what helped me quit the first time, I got that fucking gum. Yeah, yeah Nicorette gum. Doesn't that still burn up your shit, though? It fucks you up a little bit, but it's not like it, the... it does, you know, and then, I'll, you know, I'll just pick up smoking. It'd be sick. I mean, you're huh. better off. It's a longer... It looks cooler. Do people die more from chew or from, I like... think people fucking die easy from dip. Really? Yeah. That's why everyone quits after high school. You might as well smoke. Yeah. Yeah, it's probably hard to regulate how much you're swallowing and shit. And... Yeah, I, I mean, I dip fucking nonstop. Yeah, yeah. dude, knock that off. Yeah, I'm gonna try. Where's your tin? I'm dipping till Tuesday. Give it here, dude. Do you oh, have, like, that's the yeah, classic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That never. No, no, no. Do you have, Tuesday. Do you have you got to set a date. No, you don't. You got to yeah, stop. You have to stop right yeah. then and there. Nah, because I'm about to drive. That's to the Jersey. classic. Like I'm gonna get high before I go to rehab thing. Yeah, yeah. People do that. They, they it never works. It works, <laughs> and they graduate, and they're happy. <laughs> yeah. Look, I'm gonna not dip for. A, I'll be out of the country for a week. Wait, True. Oh, shit. I'm just not gonna bring Wait, any. Where the fuck are you going? I can't. You know. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah, 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 yeah. We did it, we did. Yeah. It. Let's but go, uh, baby, they um, definitely, yeah. I no I, dip to be had. There. Yeah, but but yeah. Where, but do you have any? I mean, you've been doing it a long time. Do you have any dip tricks? Like like, I mean, you can't blow circles and shit. Or can you? Can you? Yeah, spin can you circles? Fat can you I can I can literally just put it on my tongue and pack it. Like it it doesn't taste bad anymore. Yeah. It's just I can put it in my mouth. Yeah. It's you neat. should just quietly, discreetly vape. I mean, I was like, somebody real was like, quiet. you should get a jewel. I was like, sick. My friend just quit some cigarettes, got a jewel. He's like, dude, it's pretty tight. I. But you got to do it. You got to just do it yourself. Just fucking quickly vape and just get your nicotine and just get on with it. Yeah, I'm gonna see. A week will be tough. I yeah, I'm I'll, be, I'll just be smoking cigarettes the whole time. It's gonna be. Like, I I have yeah, no a uh, bunch of comics. I have no ability to like empathize on nicotine cravings. I I never liked nicotine, and I just don't. No, nah, I don't, I don't even fuck with caffeine. Yeah. Yeah, but I heard um, nicotine so hard to stop fucking smoking. It's just the habit, especially now, like driving. I drive so much. But does it make driving, you like, like? Does it really wake you up? Uh, oh yeah, that was a problem I had while I wasn't dipping. I was like falling asleep while driving. <laughs> 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 I don't know if it actually wakes you up, but it gives you something to do. Oh, yeah, I hear like you. Yeah. You're doing something while you're doing. Yeah. So I yeah, we'll see. I'm but the risk of cancer, it's like. Yeah, that's. I mean, like. I hear. That's why like, the way people describe. Nicotine is like, it's so addictive. I'm like, what does it do? And they're like, eh, it's just kind of nice to have. It's like, well, how is it that addictive? That's what I don't understand. Yeah. I that's don't know. my, fi- that's why I don't get it. But everyone's like, dude, you don't understand. Like, it's really, really hard to not to quit smoking. Especially when you throw in drinking. Cause then your inhibitions go down. And you're just like, fuck it. Yeah. yeah. Throwing a dip. Who gives a Nobody fuck? Nobody lives forever. Yeah. 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 I mean, that's the mentality. Fuck, dude. So we'll see. We'll right. see if next time we talk, dude, next week. Yeah. Thank you guys for having me, by the oh, way. Of course. It's been a yeah, long time absolutely. coming. I know. Yeah, bro. All right, players. Uh, peace.